Keeper, you came. That's... Am I seeing things? Keeper, you have come far to meet me here. Keeper? My name is Cassandra. Names change, but this task is eternal. You are the Keeper, she who keeps the Great Seal closed and the staff of Hermistris Megistus safe. Your voice... I heard it in Atlantis. You remember. My name is Alethea. With the staff in your hands, we are now entwined. Entwined? How? I can now present myself to you in a form that you recognize. You must deliver me to the heir of memories. Even now, she watches us. When I speak to you, I speak through you to her. None of this makes any sense, Alithia. It will. In Atlantis, the Great Seal hid itself from Pythagoras. It wants to be opened, but not by him. Your task is to prepare the air of memories to open it. Pledge yourself. Fine. I pledge to keep the staff until the air of memories, whoever that is, is ready to take it. All right. What did your diagnostic show you? Atlanta's getting the results now. It will take us time to analyze. For now... Kyoshi, you cut out. You there? Another bug. I was saying, for now, try to relax. Air of memories. The Great Seal awaits you. Victoria, did you hear that? Nothing on our end. What did you hear? Before there was radio static, like we were being jammed. But just now I heard a voice. The same one Cassandra heard in Atlantis. Might be the bleeding effect. Like Kyoshi said, try to relax while Alana works on the results of the diagnostic. Go to the seal, air. The Keeper delivered me to you. Her pledge has been satisfied, and now I am entwined with you. Heir of memories, this is the great seal to Atlantis. It has waited long to meet you. Victoria, Alethea's voice is coming through the staff. Victoria? The interloper can't hear you now. You're scrambling my comms? Focus, Layla. You're not going crazy. I think that memory... If it wasn't an animus malfunction, Cassandra was the keeper holding the staff for... me? And somehow the staff has been equipped for audio transmission and is connected to this seal. These symbols... It almost looks like a locking mechanism. Name these symbols in order, and at long last, the seal will open to the air of memories. Okay, talking stick. But which symbols, and in what order? There must be some way to know. The keeper kept this riddle and more in her mind. Altair 2. I'm going back in the Animus. If the signal gets through and you can monitor my vitals, great. If not, well, you've earned one free, I told you so. Keeper, our task is to guide the heir of memories to the symbols. A man called Theras knows of their whereabouts. Theras? The guy who helped get Phidias out of Athens? Is that why you've brought me back to this place? Here, the role of the Keeper bound itself to you, though you didn't know it yet. Now, to uncover the truth, we must go to Theras. I'm going to find Theras. I guess you're coming with me? Our tasks are the same. Layla, come in. Alana, is that you? Two things. Something's been interrupting our comms, which explains why we lost your vitals. Kiyoshi is looking into it. I know this sounds crazy, but I think it's the staff. Nothing sounds crazy to me anymore. Still, I'd like to verify. In other news, your animus is definitely bugging out. Victoria is yelling at her monitors in French, and frankly, I'm not sure what you're doing is safe. You call that yelling? <sighs> Layla, the Altair 2 is moving into position. We're gonna ask that you come up for air while we take a look at it. I can't do that, Vic. Cassandra's looking for Theras who might know how to unlock the Great Seal to Atlantis. The what? 
Layla, I... Dinas was a friend to Pythias. I'll let you know more as soon as I get answers. Layla, out. Better. I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. Are you all right? It's nothing compared to what they did to poor Phidias. Did you hear? What do you know about Phidias? Only rumors now. A man in gold came into his workshop, tortured him, broke his hands. His body was too destroyed for a proper burial. All because of these symbols. Symbols? I was exploring the tombs of Agamemnon, Etioclis, and Orion. I'm a traveler like you. I found the symbols and etched them onto parchment to give to Phidias as a gift. You need to find somewhere safe, Thiras. You can sail with us on the Adrestia. I would be forever in your debt. Take this map. It's rough, but it's the best I could do. Here, Eagle Bearer, and thank you. Come closer. Alicia? You've discovered Agamemnon's tomb. A place where the heir of memories will find the symbol she seeks. So, what now? Now is relative. With this information, will the heir open her eyes and unlock the symbol? She will now. So, do I just... Wait here, or something? Our task is already complete. What comes next, she must do on her own. This was easy enough. Altair 2, I have our next location. Well done. Where to? Agamemnon's tomb in Argolis. Layla to the Altair 2. It wasn't easy, but I'm in. I still don't understand. An AI or some other kind of consciousness is in the staff, which is used to open the Great Seal to Atlantis? Partly right. The symbols in these tombs are somehow tied to the symbols on the seal. How? I'll let you know, once I find one. Guess I'm taking your word for it. Be careful in there. What a find! What is it? And spoil the surprise? All I have to say is, prepare to be amazed when I get back. This body must be thousands of years old. There's plates on the floor. I should be careful. There must be some way over this thing.
The first symbol is near. First of three. You've done well, Air. It almost looks like a constellation. Layla, all of our readings are being jammed. Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. But there's still two more to uncover. I'm going back into the Animus. There have been too many bugs, Layla. We need to stop and figure out what's happening. We'll stop once I've opened the seal. Layla out. To Eclis's tomb. Well done, Keeper. Keeper, the heir of memories must search these old halls for the symbol she seeks. Will the heir rise to the task? I suppose she would. No? Every step brings you down a very long road to the heir. What you cannot show her, Vimos will. Vimos? How? The heir will know when the time comes. Altair 2, I've... or Cassandra has found the next location. Great work. Where to? The tomb of Ateocles. I think I found a way in. Altair 2, found my way in. <laughs> I think I'm getting good at this. There might be a second career in this, if Assassin isn't your thing. I still think this is a bad idea, Layla. We don't know the source of the radio interference, and there are temporal discrepancies in the Animus memories. Noted, Doctor. Layla out. Here lies the King of Thebes. I still can't believe I'm seeing it with my own eyes. Well preserved. It looks like the organic matter, the paint, the wood, none of it has aged a day. The chemical composition of the air might act as a natural form of preservation. There are tombs all over the world where corpses still have hair and nails intact, even millennia after burial. Let's talk about corpses after I'm out of here. Incredible. These statues are in perfect condition. Those who paid homage here did so with their lives. <sighs> the second symbol is close. You have done well to get this far, despite the interloper. The interloper? Do you mean... Vic? Or someone else? The second symbol! Another part of a constellation. Maybe they fit together. Altair 2, can you read me? The interloper can hear us. The interloper? Who? Layla, we hear you, but you're breaking up. Did you say you found the second symbol? I did. And Cassandra knows where the third is. I'm sure of it. I'm going to dive back in. As your doctor, and as your friend, I insist that we stop this. We're not able to guarantee you're safe in there. The staff? The staff makes me immortal, Vic. I'll be fine. Layla, please. Keeper, the tomb of Orion awaits the air. 
In this tomb, the heir of memories will see how life grows from a dead place. Life growing from a tomb? If I hadn't seen the staff work, I wouldn't believe it. The heir's task is to bring life where there was death, and your task dooms you to endure loss. Close your eyes and picture the face of one you will never see again. What would you tell them? I would hold them and tell them to be strong and that we will be together again. Remember that answer and the pain from which it comes. You don't have to tell me, Alithia. I will always remember. I will always keep. And now, will the heir of memories rise to face the tomb? I suppose she will. Altair 2, come in. Altair 2 here. The next stop is the tomb of Orion. I'll show you how to get there when I get back. Altair 2, can you read me? We hear you. Layla, there's something you need to know. That interference in the comms is coming from an outside source. If I didn't know any better, I'd say someone was listening in. It must be related to the staff. That's just it. I recognize the interference pattern. It isn't Isu. It almost reminds me of an erudito hacking algorithm. I'd recognize a hack if I saw one. Besides, once I find the third symbol, it won't matter. If only I knew which order they go in. <laughs> you could try randomly guessing. There's not that many combinations. There's no guarantee I get two chances at opening the seal. After this, we're going back to Atlantis and I'll figure something out. was poisoned. We are approaching the final symbol. The whole the keeper doesn't know the order of the symbols. There. symbol 
Another part of a constellation. They must fit together. Altar 2, can you read me? Okay, Layla, think this through. Outside the tomb of Ateocles, Alethea said Deimos would show me what the Keeper can't. But Thea said answers Theras didn't and was killed for it. The air is wise. Altair two, come in, please. Layla, that you? Did you find the symbol? Three for three. We need to head back to Atlantis. In the meantime, let's run the symbols I found against known constellations. Consider the research plan B. What's plan A? Cassandra knew where the symbols were, but not the order they go in. Alethea thinks Deimos may hold that secret. We have his DNA. What? Layla, are you crazy? I'm not crazy. I'm committed, and you should be too. When I get back to Atlantis, I'm getting this done whether you are on my side or not. Son? The name is Demos. No, I heard you're not real. You're not real! Oh, I'm real. Here, let me show you. Your heart rate's accelerated and your body temp is almost 98 degrees. What's happening? Itira! Korgath! Metin! That's all I know! You have to believe me! Maybe you'll talk if I break your other hand! Be afraid. We all die. But first, te tell me what I want to know. Itira, Korga, Metin. Itira, Korga, Metin. Itira, Korga, Metin. Layla, we're remote ending your session. Gorgath, Meti. Layla? Come in. Vic, you had no right. I had to pull you out. Diving into Themos' mind almost killed you. The interloper. He is listening. He? Sigma, I'm opening fire. Doc, fall back. Kiyoshi's been hit. Altair 2, come in. Altair 2. Vic, anyone, can you hear me? The Great Seal has waited long enough. I'm... I can't. I've seen inside Deimos's mind. I... I can't contact the team. The Animus isn't safe. The trials of the air are just beginning. You're right. I can do this. Yours is a role of strength and resilience. Now the air must call the name of the first symbol. This symbol was the first I found, and the first name said by Phidias was Itira. The air recalls. She heard the names of the symbols and their order. Now, call out the name of the second. It was this symbol, and the second name said by Phidias was Korgath. 
The air doesn't just experience memories, but holds them inside her. And now, the final symbol. I remember. Fidia somehow unlocked the order of the symbols, even if he didn't realize it. It was Itira, Korgath, Metin. Layla, can you hear us? Vic, you're alive! Sigma Force soldiers stormed the ship. Kyoshi was shot, but I stopped the bleeding. He saved us. It isn't the staff. Someone is intentionally remote hacking our signal. I encrypted a new frequency for us, just to be sure. We need to go dark until we know it's safe. Before we go, how are you? It's good to hear your voices. Listen, I've unlocked the Great Seal. Atlantis is open. Please, don't go in until we know we can keep a secure connection. I want this as much as you do, but we need to do it together. I'm hearing you, Doctor. Atlantis has waited this long, it can wait a little longer. Until then, while I'm down here, I'm safe. Call me when Kyoshi's back on his feet. He'll be glad to hear your voice. Until then, Altair 2 is going dark. Anybody there? Victoria? Layla? Oh, nice timing. Looks like I've been able to establish a secure connection with polymorphic code. Hacker free. It's good to have you back. How's Kyoshi? You know him. Resilient as ever. He wouldn't want you worrying. Sigma team. I can't believe those bastards found the Altair too. Turns out our signal was being corrupted by the Juhani Otzoberg himself. I guess he was bored of playing Black Cross and tracking down the Juno cult. I should have known some desperate hacker from Erudito would flip on us. Their fingerprints are all over this. No way! Also heard everything? If he tells the rest of the Templar Inner Sanctum what we're up to, we'll have every armed Abstergo goon on the planet after us. If Berg hasn't found you yet, we're still a step ahead. Then as long as I got you as backup, what are we waiting for? Let's see what this great seal is all about. Where's Victoria? You'll see. All right then, here we go. This place is huge! Echo! These look like thrones of royalty. But who are the kings and queens? Hello, Leila. Heir of memories. We finally found each other. I guess rebels always find a way. It's nice to meet you in the flesh, Alethea. Or in the hologram? It was only a matter of time until our realities crossed in one way or another. It seems as though we're not alone. Victoria! What are you doing down here? Layla, it was way too dangerous to let you do this alone. I wanted to keep an eye on things personally. Who's this? This is Alethea, the voice from the staff I was talking about. Of the Isu, Victoria. <laughs> Can you believe it? I've had nothing but time to study the patterns of human speech, so I should sound less like a talking stick. Are you sure we can trust her? Don't worry. She's a friend. She wants to help us with the staff. It was always known to me that the heir of memories would embark alongside the Keeper, Cassandra. You weren't in the plans. Can I trust you? Of course you can. I'm her doctor, and I need to be here to keep an eye on Layla's vitals. She'll keep out of the way. No matter. This journey is yours and Cassandra's. You'll need to build up the strength to withstand the staff's corruption. As Cassandra finds power to fuel both her and the staff, you too will feel that physical connection. So you want Layla to go in there? I don't think so. Who knows what exposure to even more first Civ tech will do? Not me, Victoria. I'll go into the Animus and experience it as Cassandra. 
Right, Alethea? Your journey starts at the same place the Keepers did. The Animus will show you her way through the simulations. If you're sure, Layla, we'll have to be extra careful. I'll be here to monitor you with... her. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Wish me bon chance. The blood that is shared must also be offered, and the Great Seal will open for us. If you say so. Welcome, Keeper. You've entered the Great Throne Room of Atlantis. What lies in this room are remnants of Isutech I've adapted in order for you to begin your journey. I'm sure you have questions. There is more I have to do. Always, Keeper. When the staff belonged to Pythagoras, he used it selfishly for knowledge. He was weak where you aren't. You will endure lifetimes until the heir of memories takes this burden. The only way to carry the staff's weight is to find the strength to wield it. You'll find that strength in Elysium. The underworld awaits, Keeper. The... What? I'm alive. If I'm alive, how can I come back from the underworld? These portals are simulations. They were made by me for you. In Elysium, you'll find power sources known as Keeper's Insights. This will affect both the Keeper and the Heir of Memories. Moving forward in the underworld will be essential to finding all the sources of power. You're asking for blind trust, Alithia. You pledged yourself to me and our common cause, Keeper. Never forget that I'm on your side. I won't let the ones that came before control your fate. Find the strength within you and show the staff your worth. Approach the first portal when you're ready. No going back now. I have to trust her. You don't belong here.
No one stands up to Persephone's guards, let alone best them in battle. Tell me your name, or you're next. Ah, I'm Hermes. As you're holding my proudest creation, that means you're a descendant of Pythagoras. I know just why you're here. You need to harness its power. Now, your name. The staff calls me Keeper, but you can call me Cassandra. What is this place? Keeper, a great name with a great journey ahead of you. This is the paradise of Elysium, presided over by the mighty Persephone herself. Elysium was a gift from her husband, Hades. This beautiful realm she crafted in her image is the only joy she gets from the underworld. She's his prisoner. But she's coming to her role as queen with much aplomb. Elysium. Resting place of heroes. When I was a girl, I'd dream of seeing it with my own eyes. Then why would Persephone attack me? Most rulers don't take the sudden invasion of a lone outsider lightly. Speaking of which, the appearance of a living human is quite unexpected. I'm supposed to go through trials and eventually leave this place. There was a great seal and the staff talks... It's all very complicated. Allow me to explain. The staff is a gift, not a toy. It can be a key, a weapon, and the way to attain power until the very end of time. Here, you'll find the means to control it before it controls you. After that, there is a gate that leads out of Elysium. But the only way to it is through Persephone, and she'd never allow that. I need to get to that gate. Try talking to her. Who knows? Maybe she'll convince you to stay. Or you could find Nekati, Persephone's top advisor and closest friend. Or... You could prove yourself. Prove myself how? Persephone sent guards because she's concerned. There are reports of lawlessness in Death Kalyon's heritage south of here. <laughs> Why am I telling you all this? You said it yourself. It's very complicated. Elysia may look like paradise, but we all have our secrets. What can you tell me about my staff? I need to learn how to use it. Find my energy sources, the perceptions of Hermes, across Elysium to imbue both you and the staff with power. Only then are you ready to move onward. You can't wield the staff without them. Are you certain there's nothing else you'd like to know? Kiere. When you've sorted your affairs with Persephone, come see me in Minos' faith. I look forward to hearing about your progress. I will. I almost forgot. I've invented just a thing for you flightless humans in Elysium. The wings of Herbis. Go, enjoy them.
let's go. <laughs> Vamos, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> The wings of her knees. Could this be it? Look how that was fast! Come on! I want out of Elysium. If you help me escape, I promise you'll never see me again. As happy as that would make me, Persephone wants you to stay. How long until you realize you're just one of her pets? Watch yourself, human. Careful, or Persephone will have you neutered. Oh, I forgot. She did that ages ago. I didn't think the dead could feel pain. I'm one of the few miserable fools around here who's actually alive. If you're so miserable, why not just leave? I've tried. If Persephone wants you to stay, dead or alive, you stay. Hades taught her well. So you're the troublemaker I've been hearing so much about. Adonis, at your service. With an army at Persephone's disposal and most of Elysium under her control, my troublemaking days are coming to an end. What if I helped you? And why would someone with their whole life ahead of them want to do that? I hear Persephone has everyone in Elysium on a leash. I want to cut them free. <laughs> of all the lies in the underworld, that's the best one I've heard yet. No one cares about the dead. Try again. I need to find Hades' realm. If overthrowing Persephone is the key to escaping Elysium, then I'm in. <laughs> Why didn't you just say so from the beginning? Did you hear that, my love? She wants to enter Hades' realm. I'm going to find it with or without your help. We might as well work together. Tell you what. Southwest from here is the fortress of the Three Sisters, one of Persephone's strongholds. If you kill her overseer, destroy her torches of Hypnos, and steal Persephone's resources, all while avoiding the attention of her Colossi, then maybe I'll trust you. If you're the troublemaker, 
Why do I feel like I'll be causing all the trouble? What can I say? I'm a lover, not a fighter. Luckily for you, I'm both.
Trust me now. You've brought me one step closer to my love. It's a good start. Who is this love you keep mentioning? The most beautiful being in existence. With a face so fair to gaze upon it is to forget all others. Perhaps you've heard of her. Aphrodite. I'm sorry. Afro who? Very funny. The last person who provoked a wrath was turned into a field pig. All right. What's next? Not here. Come find my camp in Yapetos' ruins. Before you go, Persephone has overseers and torches of Hypnos across Elysium. If we're going to weaken her influence, we must destroy them. <sighs> and we're going to need all the help we can get. It's about time I go meet the infamous Persephone. <laughs> he stood there, soaking wet and sputtering, while his boat floated away from him down the Eridan River in pieces. I'd give my sharpest bronze dagger to see that silly human trying to leave Elysium on a felucca. Have you visited my mother recently? And given her my love? Always. The meteor sends her love in return. Well, I'd better get back. Elysium won't rule itself. Do keep an eye out for me. I sense trouble brewing in paradise. I was starting to think you'd never get here. You can't waste time if you hope to break Persephone's control over the gate to the underworld. I... <laughs> Did you really think word wouldn't get out at your inclusion with Elysium's pretty boy, Adonis? Is that so? 
Unfortunately, no one passes through the gate to the underworld without Persephone's permission, which she has never given. Ever. Luckily for you, as the goddess of crossroads and keys, locked doors happen to be my specialty. Are you saying you can get me through the gate? I'm saying I can help you bypass Persephone. What's in this for you? You still haven't told me. I'm not asking for your blind trust. Let me prove our goals align. This unlocks the door to Persephone's hidden sanctuary. She keeps all of her most intimate possessions there, stowed away from her husband. Among her treasures is a journal rumored to contain information you desperately need about the gate. Bring it to me as soon as you can. I'll go get the journal. The sooner you bring me it, the closer you are to leaving Elysium. Don't waste any time. This is it. See if Agati's key works. Then find that journal. <sighs> this journal is missing pages. Hope Agati still wants it. Stealing Persephone's journal will help me open the gate to the underworld, but here it is. Stealing Persephone's journal wouldn't help us, but stealing the journal that belonged to the gate's locksmith will. Who's the locksmith? It doesn't say. Looks like a lot of pages were torn out. Now be quiet while I read.
Well, that was illuminating. I don't like mystery. Let's hear what it says. Oh, so eager. The location of the gate is not revealed. But so long as Persephone controls Elysium, you need her permission to pass through it. Which you will never get. But if she loses control of Elysium... She loses control of the gate. You need to undermine her influence any way you can. And how do you suggest I do that? Your alliance with Adonis is a good start. His head-on tactics are a little obvious for my taste, but in time, he will wear down Persephone's forces. What about our alliance? Where do you come in? I know all of Persephone's weaknesses, and I'll direct you to them when the time is right. Until then, you'd be wise to spend some time with Persephone's lapdog, Hermes. Learn to use that staff. You'll need a divine weapon in the land of gods. Let's go. I didn't get a good enough look at you back there. Now I see why my guards had trouble with you. Well, they weren't exactly easy. I'm sure they aren't what mortals like you are used to. You must be someone special. You're acting pretty nice for someone who just tried to kill me. Consider that a misunderstanding. It isn't every day I see a new face in my realm, much less one as lively as yours. So, Elysium belongs to you? After the rude introduction I gave you, I can't blame you for not knowing. Let me apologize. Ross can attest, usually he's the one that does the biting. He would want you to forgive me too. Tell me your name. Let's begin again. On the right foot, this time. I 
tend to take attacks against me personally. I understand your mistrust, but I want to be friends. This place is paradise, after all. There's no room for enemies. This place is beautiful. I'm Cassandra. Then I give you my official welcome, Cassandra. Let me tell you what's customary around here. This place is mine. I know every flower, every face. I alone let them in. But there's something here I don't want. You mean me? No. There's a beast loose in Elysium, and it belongs to Hades. If it gets to him that his wife stole one of his immortal mounts, it'll be a disaster. But I didn't steal it. I won't go near the things. They brought me down here in the first place. No, someone wants me to look bad, and I need that horse gone. I'll see if I can find the horse for you. What does it look like? You know it when you see it, trust me. Not only is the beast immortal, but he is terrifying. Horses don't scare me. Has anyone seen him lately? I heard screams coming from the Aspodel Alboritum. Perhaps he's scaring civilians. Bring it to my stable boy, the jockey of Artemision. He'll know how to send it galloping back to the nightmare it came from. like a good place for a horse to take shelter.
Don't come any closer. You're all scaring my horse. He is just a gentle creature. Have you seen your horse? The others ran away screaming. Leave it to a blind man to see what's right in front of him. Of course I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. These are hard times. I'm afraid I won't make them any easier. I have to take that horse from you. You can't! First Persephone takes my sight, and then you take Orphe? Our friendship was instant. I heard the neigh of a fierce horse. I approached him, unafraid. And he licked my palm. He's not supposed to be in Elysium. Are any of us in a realm that boasts perfection but shows only deceit? Have pity. Let him stay with me. Little do you know that this is Hades' horse. It's going back to him. I don't care. I would risk even Hades' punishment for Orphe. Mark my words. I won't forget this. Whoa, boy! Ah, don't tell Phobos, but you are one impressive beast. <laughs> This horse either to Adonis or to the stable boy. Who to choose? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I thought Adonis could make good use of this horse. Will you make sure it gets to him? This horse? 
So long as he doesn't trample me, I'll take it to him on your behalf. Good news, I take it. I know Hades will be missing his beast. I found him, and took him to your stable boy, like you asked. You have no idea the trouble you've saved me. You've earned my favor. I pay that stable boy a visit to cover my tracks. You must be the jockey of Artemision. Nice horses. I keep them clean and pretty, just like Elysium. I tended horses in my old life, too. Then you're just the boy I need to talk to. I have a favor to ask. What favor? If Persephone or any of her people ask, I need you to tell them that I brought a big, scary horse to you. A scary horse? We don't have those here. Then you'll have to pretend. There is Drachmi for you if you do. You're silly. We don't need Drachmi in Elysium. You're sure you're from around here? Of course, I knew that. No matter what, you need to do what I say. Why do you want me to lie? Because if you don't, I'll make sure all of your horses get out of their pens and run away to Tartarus. Understand? Tell them I was here. Fine! Just leave my horses alone! Come on! Again. Always nice to see a friendly face. Keeper, you found my workshop after all. I know it may not look like much, but it's home. I told you. You can call me Cassandra. In front of the staff? Ha! Ah. But I'm glad you came. There's much to show you in this great land. If you're offering, I could use some help getting my bearings. Oh, give yourself time. The Golden Fields reveal themselves slowly and selectively, but I can help. Walk with me. Maybe you're right. I need to clear my head. Where to? I consider myself a keymaker. One of my keys might interest you. What do you do in your workshop? Invent. All of reality's secrets are hidden behind doors. My inventions act as keys. Off we go now. You reveal the secrets behind them? Ah! But why discuss what we can see for ourselves? Observe, way up there, Persephone's first key. If only you could have seen it when it was new. It seems like most of Elysium is in ruins. What happened? This place is beautiful, as are all of Persephone's creations. But it is a world that changes at her whims. When I see decay, 
I know she needs us at her side more than ever. Ella. The heroes who have passed through those golden fields, basking in the glory of eternal peace, each thinking they'd see nothing more beautiful, only then to set eyes on Persephone. Let's go. is the site where Iphastos built a home for Aphrodite. Doesn't look like much now. It stood tall until Aphrodite met that child Agonis. His ability to wreak havoc with a wink and a smile is second to none. Huh. Ella. Imagine for a moment, inside you, inside all of us, are parchments twisting like ribbon. On those parchments is written the story of who you are, who you were, and who you will become. Does that make sense? Like everything else here, I don't understand any of it. Let's call it the fates then. Your fate is predetermined, but what you experienced in there was a key I built that can unlock it and allow you to control it. I've built many. Thank you. I'm not used to doing this on my own. On the Adrestia, I had Varnavas as a guide. Ah, well, I hope it's a long time before I meet him here. I'll leave you to your adventuring. You're welcome to come back to my workshop anytime. Here, Hermes. You look concerned. I'm worried about Persephone. Persephone can look after herself. She's incredible. I agree, but these are strange times. I've heard that some ungrateful delinquents plot against her. These uh, ungrateful delinquents... Could they be right? Bah! You give them too much credit. Still, Persephone needs protection. Don't look at me. There's a friend of mine, and your father's, Kiros of Zarax. He's a strong and honorable warrior. He's been abducted, but if we could free him... You're suggesting we make a human Persephone's bodyguard? With Kiros at the ready. The humans will think twice before attacking one of their own. Say no more. I'll find Kiros for you. Ah, I knew I could trust you. While you're gone, I'll arrange a meeting with Persephone. Bring Kiros to the heart of Elysium. We'll be there.
of Zarax. Hermes sent me. So, how do you get that stuff? Pythagoras was my father. Things happened. Now it's mine. Ah, that right? That makes us family. I knew the man well. I heard. This way. Persephone's waiting. Persephone herself? This is going to be easier than I thought. Wait. What's going to be easier? All right, Kiros. Let's make this quick. You said this is going to be easier than you thought. Since we're basically family, I'm trusting your honor. I work for Adonis. But you are caged by humans. Yes. And Hermes found out about it. Right around the time Persephone was coaxed into deciding she needs a bodyguard. You talk about honor? You set up this lie and used me as a mule to infiltrate Persephone's lair. I expected to meet a warrior. Before I met your father, I had four sons. Each a warrior. When my third boy fell in battle, there was only guilt. I'd cried all my tears for the first two. Go on. And with the fourth, I felt longing. Sadness had become my only friend. And I had no one left to grieve. Warriors don't bring peace. They bring sorrow. So by getting behind Persephone's defenses, you think you can prevent war? You could convince her to surrender or distract her while Adonis escapes. Anything but battle. But before we go to Persephone, I have to send confirmation this plan worked. Will you take me? Fine, but be quick. We need to go to Persephone and Hermes. They're waiting. You really think you can save lives? I'm not sure how death works in Elysium, but suffering is eternal. Let's go. And that is something I can't stop. That's all of them. Let's keep moving. Once Adonis hears my plan worked, maybe he'll stand down. Hurry, Kiros. We need to get back to Hermes, or Persephone might suspect something. I hear Persephone likes to test her new recruits, and I've got a bit of a temper. If you see me turning red... I'll think of something. Come on.
Where have you been? No one keeps Persephone waiting. It got complicated. We took a less direct route. What matters, Hermes, is I'm freed thanks to you. When I go to my queen, I will make sure she's grateful to you for my service. Explain it to Persephone. She's waiting. I'll make sure she knows this was entirely my fault, not yours. I'm sorry I was ungrateful. Kiros will make a strong guard. Thank you again, friend. Here, Hermes. Keeper, I've been robbed! These are dark times for Elysium. Those delinquent fools have robbed even me. What did they take? I fashioned the key. A recipe, if you will, for an eternal flame. I intended to gift it to Persephone. With it, she could shine her light, even in the underworld. An eternal flame could bring order to this chaos. You understand her burden better than you let on. By enduring her sacrifice, Persephone keeps us safe in the Underworld. So write the recipe again. What I wrote took lifetimes. We can't let it stay in the hands of humans who would use it against her. Keep her! Uh, Cassandra, we have to steal it back. I'll take back this recipe, but only because I don't think anyone should have access to a flame that never dies. These are desperate times! You've seen the cloud these delinquents cast on our golden fields. I said I'd get it. Ah, I thank you. You are quickly becoming my friend and ally. I'll find the rebels and get your recipe. That's all I ask. If you are spotted or cause a commotion, we risk retaliation. Go unseen. This looks like the scribbles of a madman. But it's been ripped. Where's the rest of it? to get the recipe back. About that. Here it is. You've spared this realm great suffering, my friend. I wonder, were you spotted? Of course not. But ah, Hermes... Good. We don't risk retaliation. I'm giving these torn pieces back, Hermes, but I'm trusting you. A flame that never dies could consume all of Elysium. I swear to you as your friend, I will only use the flame if it's absolutely necessary. Hermes, things are worse in Elysium than I've been letting on. The rebels are organized and ready to fight. War is coming. We must crush the force behind the chaos. Let's fight for Persephone. You're so worried about Persephone, you can't even see. You're in just as much danger. You kept the eternal flame out of the hands of the humans, and you went unseen. We have the upper hand. We just have to strike. Calm yourself, Hermes. It's not like you're going to go on a rampage. And why not? There are so-called captains guiding the human forces. They invited Chaos into this realm, so let's show them Chaos. Fine. I'll kill the captains.
I cannot let you do this alone, my friend. Let's fight side by side. All right. I've never fought alongside a god before. This should be messy. For eternity, Elysium has been a place of peace. If we do this, maybe peace will return. Maybe. But war has a way of following me wherever I go. It's been a long time since I had to use this blade, my friend. Don't call me friend, Hermes. We're done. What? But we did it, and I have you to thank. You used me, just like Persephone's used you. You're wrong. I've tried to tell you, but you haven't listened. She doesn't love you. You're wrong. She will love me. And I will always love her. I'll do anything, anything to prove that. Even killing you. So it's come to this. You're not a friend. You're an outsider. If you cross my path again, I will treat you the way Persephone treats outsiders. Good, you're just in time. A woman in Stroma needs your help. What does she need? Helping her will bring us closer to breaking Persephone's grasp on Elysium. What's special about her? She's an orator who'd be willing to join Adonis's rebellion. That man has beautiful lips. But a silver tongue like hers is necessary to inspire the public. Then it sounds like we need her. I'll come back when I'm done. There she is. Persephone herself. No human should seek to leave it, for in Elysium, we want for nothing. Who are you? Who sent you? Ekati mentioned you could use some help. Quiet! If the other humans think I associate with Ekati, my career is over. Just tell me what you need me to do. Free the villagers being held captive in Persephone's broken daydream. My son, Theron, is working there as a guard against his will. It's like Persephone possessed his mind. Can you help him too? I'll see what I can do. Be 
trouble if I'm spotted here. That was what? What was that? from Persephone's grip! You're back. Where is my Theron? I freed him of Persephone's influence. He's joined Adonis's rebellion. Wonderful news! I didn't know there was a cure. What of the other villagers? They've made their way safely to Iapetos' ruins already. You'll find them there. As promised, I'll join the rebels. What message would you like me to spread once I'm there? Let the humans know that Adonis will lead them to freedom. Only he has their interests at heart, not Persephone. Your words shall be spoken. Thank you for your help. The Silver Tongue is on her way to help the rebellion. She'll bring in plenty of recruits. Adonis will be pleased. Relieving Persephone of her power is what's important. Don't concern yourself with that man's feelings. Or your feelings for him. Adonis is a friend. Nothing more. Make sure it stays that way. What's it to you? Divine love affairs never end well for the humans involved. Stay out of them. And stay focused on the task at hand. Now, a young woman is suffering from a terrible affliction. She's agreed to help the rebellion if we provide a cure. However, Persephone long ago outlawed the water that can relieve this woman and destroy the last of it. Let me guess. Or so she thought. There are rumors that someone hid a final vial of it in a cave off of Hypnosis Path. 
Retrieve it and bring it to her. I'll return when I've delivered the water. Remember, it's forbidden. You can't be seen when you bring it to the villa in Adonis's gardens. Watch will be vigilant here. Sounds huge. Better check it out. entered the cave. You must have found what was left of Lithi's water. I did. Oh, I... Oh, have mercy and let me have just a sip. I lost my wife in Tartaros and her screams still haunt me in my dreams. Please, put them to rest. Well, I guess it can't hurt. But just a sip. Someone else needs this. I think it matters. Get 
out of here, Mistios! Got to be careful not to get spotted. This looks like the place. You're the contact Ikati described. Do you have Lithia's water? I do, but what's so special about it? I saw a man lose himself after just one sip. Humans here drink Lithia's water to forget their past lives and reincarnate back into the world of the living. But Persephone won't let any of us leave Elysium so long as she's trapped here too. I lost my soulmate. I can't go back in time, but I can forget that pain. Now, give me the water. No. After what I've seen, no one should drink this. You fool! Now I'm doomed to live my life without my poor Theron for eternity! That was my last hope! Theron? The silver tongue son? I cleansed him of Persephone's possession. He's in Iepetos' ruins. What? How? I... If what you're saying is true, I must see him right away. Oh, my sweet Theron! You did nothing close to what I asked you! And what did you ask Cassandra to do for you? Persephone. Rumor has it Lethe's water has once again entered circulation in Elysium. Don't you dare try to talk your way out of this! You are the only person who knows what Lethe's water means to me! I'm sorry. It's hard for a human to understand the consequences of drinking from Lethe's river. You succeeded where I failed. Persephone, I, I was only trying to... I'll be watching you more closely from now on, friend. This wasn't about helping Adonis at all. You knew that woman would be no use to the rebellion after drinking the water. The woman did promise her help. That wasn't a lie. As for my motives, I've told you from the start they are mine alone to know. But if humans so desperately desire to move on from their pasts, Persephone shouldn't make that choice for them. If humans want to drink from Lethe's river, it's a choice they can make for themselves. With or without Persephone's permission. I wasn't asking for your opinion on the matter. I need some time alone, away from your mindless chatter. You've had your alone time. Tell me what's next. You're keeping up. Good. 
There's one more place we must weaken Persephone before our time together draws to a close. Her most devoted followers are gathering in a villa near Persephone's embrace. These are the most vile humans in Elysium that serve her every whim and dark desire. Are they under her possession? You might say they're more obsessed than possessed. But if you're thinking you can save these humans, you're sorely mistaken. Persephone's hold on them is too strong. Until now, you've been helping humans, not hurting them. I'm helping people who help us, and hurting people who stand in our way. Try to stay with me, won't you? So, what do you have in mind for Persephone's followers? Poison in their wine should do the trick. Unfortunately, the wolf nearby ate the last of my aconite. You'll need to hunt it and extract the poison from its liver. This symposium shouldn't be too difficult to infiltrate, but once you're there, try to blend in with the other Persephone-obsessed humans. I'll find the poison and infiltrate the symposium. Don't worry. There'll be plenty of time to leave once the humans start drinking. Good luck. That's the poison. Now I've got a symposium to attend. Another one. A fresh face. Is this your first time at a devoted follower symposium? Uh, yes. Don't look so nervous, friend. Why don't you go meet some people, and then we will toast to our new arrivals? Oh, if you're at a loss for words, let other members know whether you think Adonis or Hermes is Persephone's soulmate. We debate that for hours here. Tell me, stranger, who do you think Persephone's soulmate is? The god or the human? Adonis. Persephone adores him. A while ago I would have agreed with you, but... Everyone knows Adonis has been slamming it with some human lately. Persephone deserves better. <laughs> Persephone said Adam is the most beautiful Make sure you introduce yourself to everyone. We're all excited to have you. Enjoying the symposium? I should be going. an argument, friend. We just got word that Persephone is expanding her palace. Should she build into the east or west of Elysium? I think she should expand west. Thank you! If she wants a view of all the Minoan architecture, she must add a wing in the west. <laughs> Did you hear that Persephone the fewest pages in the world? 
έχουν συμμορυνθεί με χωρία λομπάνου σε μια χωρία Τι συνέβη μόλις. Having a good time. Enjoy the party. I know they're old rumors, but what do you think of the whispers that Hecate seeks to steal Persephone's throne for herself? They look like good friends to me. You know, I completely agree. Persephone needs someone like Hecate by her side supporting her. I'm ready for the toast. You know, everyone is saying what a great conversationalist you are. So knowledgeable about Persephone. You'll be a perfect fit here. These people really don't seem as corrupt as Ekati made them out to be. Everyone gather to toast our new members. Wait. The wine was... Well, I poisoned it. After we welcomed you so warmly, you're no friend. Guards! Answers. The symposium wasn't at all what I expected. Why do I get the feeling I've been played? Welcome to the uprising. These ruins were abandoned when Persephone constructed her paradise. We won't be bothered here. But there are so few of you. Well, thanks to you, I now have a warhorse. An invincible warhorse. Or so I'm told. I'm not sure how much help one horse is going to be. Most of Persephone's army consists of mind-controlled humans. Free their minds and bring them to me. We can use them as troops. Free their minds? My dear friend Hermes is a master manipulator. And that staff of yours looks like one of his creations. Try using that. 
There is an outpost southwest from here, nestled in the hand of Hades. Warriors were spotted in its paw. You've been asleep too long. Wake and be free! are dying. I release you from their control. You surprise me. When we first met, I was positive you were sent by Persephone to... To what? Seduce me. Confuse me, anything to make me forget my love. But when I asked you to weaken Persephone's influence, you did. I asked you to bring me warriors, and here they are. And all I had to do was risk my life for you to trust me. No one in Elysium is who they say. So when a clever warrior shows up to help me escape, you'll have to excuse me if I'm skeptical. <clears throat> Time to find more warriors. Scout spotted one nearby, was a Spartan hero in his former life. He's not under Persephone's influence, but keeps mostly to himself. With a champion like him on our side, we can't fail. How will I know when I find him? From what I'm told, you can't miss him. You have the eyes of my daughter. So something did survive that day. How do you have this? Mirini. She's my mother. I'm here because I need your help. I need you to fight. I have found peace here. Why would I fight? All my life, I was told of my grandfather. The king who spat in the face of the gods and ran his spear through anyone who threatened the freedom of his people. Now I'm the one fighting for freedom, and I'm asking my grandfather for help. We'll need to use the terrain to our advantage. So you'll fight with us? Not until you fight me. You say you're Marini's daughter. I want to see how she trained you. Huh! <laughs> 
I could have used you at Thermopylae. You could have used a lot of people at Thermopylae. I am glad this spear is in your hands. I will fight with you. You have my word as a Spartan. Thank you, Grandfather. She is. How is Leonidas fitting in? Morale's never been higher. Scouts are reporting Persephone's influence is weakening across Elysium. You're definitely causing havoc out there. I won't rest until it's done. You know, I'm starting to think Elysium isn't such a bad place with you in it. Yes, if only you weren't in love with Aphrodite. And trying to overthrow the Queen, and uh, everyone else wasn't dead. Elysium would be perfect. All I'm saying is you breathe life into this world filled with dead people. Anyhow, we have a bit of a situation. Of course we do. Persephone's guards have cut off supply lines, overtaken hideouts, secrets and locations she couldn't possibly have known without inside help. We suspect there is a spy in our midst. Who? One is a messenger. She was sent with crucial information to one of our camps. When she didn't return, we sent a scout. The entire camp was killed, and she was nowhere to be found. The other is a blacksmith. Soldiers love to gossip while getting their blade sharpened. We think he may have overheard some of our plans. That's a good start. They both have homes in the village. Return to me once you're done. Definitely the house of a blacksmith. Hmm. A list of people Adonis has spent time with. Mine and Persephone's names are on this. A note written to Aphrodite. The blacksmith told her everything. Adonis's escape plans. The rebellion. This must be the messenger's house. Broken beast from one of the torches of Hypnos I destroyed. So Persephone knows we've recruited Leonidas. Detailed information about one of Adonis's rebel camps. the dirty spy? The messenger or the blacksmith? Both have been spying on you. Both have information that could undo your rebellion. Lousy malakas. My scouts tell me they're on the move. We only have time to dispose of one before they disappear completely. Which is more dangerous to our cause? The blacksmith had a list of people you've spent time with, and a note to Aphrodite outlining your plans for escape. And what about the messenger? She had detailed information about one of your rebel camps, a note to Persephone about Leonidas joining the fight, and a fragment of one of the mind control devices I destroyed. The messenger needs to be stopped. Last I heard, she was spotted at a small rebel camp.
Messenger is dead. The camp was ambushed. I did what I could. Any news on the blacksmith? He escaped. If he reports back to Persephone, many lives are in danger. Our next move needs to be swift and deadly. Meet me later at the Palace of the Colossi. I've acquired a little something that will turn Persephone's paradise upside down. There you are. The Queen is in Defcalion's heritage and requires your presence. Don't keep her waiting. What do you think about my southern realm? I don't come here much anymore. It's lovely. I try to offer a comfortable home to the glorious dead. It helps them accept their fate and keeps them from wandering too far. So when a human wanders and doesn't return, I can't help but take it personally. What am I doing here? When Leonidas was alive, he brought chaos and bloodshed. Hermes spotted him mingling with delinquents recently. We can't have him falling into old habits. If he won't fight with me, then he won't fight at all. Hermes is exaggerating. When I heard Leonidas was in Elysium, I went to see him. He's found peace here. He's no threat to you. Hermes told me why you're really in Elysium. That staff of yours. Cross me and you'll fail. But Leonidas means a lot to you. I understand this will be difficult, which is why I'm willing to make you a deal. What kind of deal? Bring me the body of Leonidas, and I will bring back a departed beloved of your choosing. You can do that? I'm queen of the dead, darling. I can do anything. So, who does Cassandra want back in her life? I want to see Phoebe again. Help me protect Elysium from chaos, and you'll see your loved one again.
Even in paradise, people leave my family dead. Is killing my grandfather worth bringing someone back to life? What are you doing out here? There is something I wanted to ask you. Will you fish with me? This is nice. There are so many things I want to talk about. Talk then. After everything you lost at Thermopylae, your men, your wife, your children, Sparta... In the end, was it worth it? Who rules the Greek world right now? Greeks. Then my answer is yes. Mother told me of our bloodline and our ancestors. Did you know? Only what my mother told me. We were born from greatness, and we were destined for greatness. The world was divided in two. Those who wanted us dead, and those who would follow us to the gates of Hades. I imagine the spear was in one piece when it was given to you. My mother handed it to me when I was a boy. Said it came with a certain burden, but... You were ready. It's so peaceful here. I think I got the bite. Get a basket, quickly. Grandfather, I... You are here to kill me. In Sparta, we were trained to spot predators long before they pounced. I need Persephone's approval, but she sees you as a threat. If I don't take care of that threat... Why not bring her the head of a greater threat? Who's a greater threat than you? Actually, there is someone. A spy. I delivered him to Persephone as a bodyguard, but... He's working against her from the inside. I am only a threat to her soldiers on the battlefield. A spy threatens the heart of Elysium. Bring her his corpse, and she should be satisfied. Thank you, Grandfather. We should go fishing more often. Yeah! Oh! Yeah! 
There he is. Kiros of Zarax? This isn't who I asked for. He's a spy working for the Rebellion. But you're the one who first brought him to me. I didn't know his intentions. I trusted you. Guards! Persephone, listen to me. Hermes is right. Trouble's brewing in Elysium. Even though Leonidas is against you, you are much stronger than he is. 
But Kiros was an enemy you couldn't see. That made him far more dangerous to you and Elysium. But he's still breathing. Death is a gift traitors don't deserve. I thought you'd want to deal with him yourself. Defying me comes at a cost. Our deal is off. But for bringing me this vile deceiver, you may stay. Figure out that mysterious little staff of yours. I never wanted this! I only turned this world into paradise to make it bearable! And then you arrived and made me blossom. Please, just let me go. If you truly wanted to leave, you'd have already done it. Or have you forgotten? I wonder if Aphrodite would still love you if she knew what a coward you were. Not having second thoughts, are you? She's right. I am a coward. She gave me the chance to leave once. All I had to do was fight and I couldn't. I'm sorry, I can't do this. It's too big. Adonis. Close your eyes, and imagine all the people fighting by your side. They believe in you. I believe in you. Don't let Persephone make you forget why you're fighting. You're right. It's Persephone's greatest talent, making us forget the ones we love. Keeps people from wanting to leave. Let's remind them, shall we? At the base of the Palace of the Colossi, you'll find one of Hermes' inventions, stolen from his workshop. It's said to destroy everything it touches. What are we destroying? Atop the palace is where Persephone keeps her sleeping Colossi. Bring the device there and make sure they never wake again. The smoke will let every rebel camp in Elysium know the time to strike is now. What are we waiting for? Try not to kill anyone. Success without detection and death is sure to convert more non-believers to our cause. Come on!
When we first met, I laughed when you said you wanted to escape Elysium. And now? I pity the god who stands in your way. So what will you do? I have some preparations to make before our final assault on Persephone's palace. I meant when this is over. I'm going to leave Elysium in the hands of the people. Then I'm going straight to Olibos into the arms of my love. Sounds like paradise. You've been a good friend. I never expected to find one here. Come find me before we launch our attack. The rebellion's almost ready to make it stand. I should check back with Ekati in case she's returned. And get some answers. Persephone, I was looking for a Kati. I can't imagine what you need her for, but never mind. Do you know what the hardest part is about my life here? I don't. It's not knowing who to trust. Ekati has been my dearest friend ever since my mother, the meteor, sent her to me. But after that nonsense with Lethe's water, I've been keeping a closer eye on her. Ekati always tells me where she's going, but not this time. My spies tell me she's about to resurface for a secret meeting at Iphigenia's compound. Sounds like the meeting's not so secret anymore. That's where you come in. Spy on her and report back to me. I'm trusting you with this. Please, don't let me down. Spotted here. I was wondering when you would arrive, locksmith. You know I prefer Keymaker. Your mastery of language is overwhelming as always. How you stay so humble is beyond me. You know why I'm here, Egati. We need to talk about your newfound friend, the Keeper. Don't worry. I didn't tell Cassandra about the key to the Underworld you cleverly disguised as Ross's cover. Why would I want her running straight to Persephone's palace? It's not about that! I know you've been spending a lot of time together, and undermining Persephone in the process. Cassandra has been undermining Persephone, not me. At least, that's what Persephone will see when I'm through. I'm all too familiar with your ability to whisper in Persephone's ear, but whatever tale you spin for her isn't the truth, is it? You've been trying to push Persephone out of power! Hermes, you know her quest for control is corrupting her. You must see that Persephone has changed. The only one who wants control is you. Why can't you support her? <laughs> it's true. You are jealous of her. Doing everything Persephone tells you isn't helping her, Ernest. 
let alone getting you what you so desperately desire. Could either of us really help her after what she's gone through? But I am no traitor. I need to get to Persephone first, no matter what. So, what did you find out? Ecati's been working behind your back. What folly is this? An outsider accusing me of treason after breaking into your sanctuary. I couldn't have gotten in if Ecati hadn't given me the key. But you did break in? Yes, to steal a journal about the gate to the underworld. You are the only one with the key. Cassandra stole it from me. Just like she stole the last of Lethe's water from the cave. But Cassandra destroyed it. Don't play games with me, Akati. I know who was behind Lethe's water circulating in Elysium. The point is, there's been trouble in Elysium ever since you got here. That's no coincidence. You're clearly trying to push Persephone out of power. Half of Elysium knows Ekati wants you out of power, Persephone. Why can't you see that? You can't believe these lies! A silver tongue joined the delinquents operating in Decalion's heritage after this outsider helped her! The timing is curious. Furthermore, a gathering of your most devoted followers was recently targeted. Yes. No one was hurt, but Aconite was found in the wine. Your signature death sentence, if I recall correctly. Curiously, the last of my batch was stolen from me right before the party. It wasn't me. Is it a coincidence then, outsider, that someone matching your description was seen fleeing the followers' symposium? Enough! I have reason to suspect the both of you of treason at this point. Ekati is my oldest friend in the underworld, and for a while I thought my truest. Give me one reason why I should believe your word over hers. Ekati has always been jealous of you. She wants your power over Elysium for herself. You can't possibly take the words of an outsider over mine. Persephone. Whatever part Cassandra may have played in my misfortunes as of late, you played a large role. And you are supposed to be my confidant in the underworld. My best friend. I had the best intentions. Whatever you were trying to do, you betrayed me. We've received word those delinquents in Defkelion's heritage are on the move. Not now. This is urgent, my queen. Fine. I'll handle this later. I should have known you would stab me in the back. You can't betray someone you never held any loyalty for. Adonis' troops should be strong enough to take Persephone down. I should let him know. I've had scouts looking everywhere for you. I didn't think to check Persephone's throne room. Of course you didn't. And thanks to me, Persephone blames Ekati. We have the advantage. That's so? Then we need to strike, and we need to do it now. Mm. For Aphrodite. And for your freedom to breach the gate out of this realm. All right, master your troops. We're going to battle.
Grace awaits! Fight for your would I be while the humans burn Elysium to the ground? My friend, help me protect her. You really think I'm going to protect Persephone? These rebels are here because of me. This is no time to joke. We're the staff keeper and key maker, bound by mysteries. We're not friends. We're not bound. I played you and her to get what I want. It was you this whole time? You let me worry about these delinquents? All my worry, all this suffering, was because of you! I told you I'm getting to that gate whether Persephone likes it or not. Now, get out of my way! I will not! Then today is the day the gods themselves fall to their knees before me. Friendship means to you?
That's it. Persephone's control over Elysium needs to end. Now! You! Don't move a muscle! You're letting a human get in the way of our friendship! You let her get in the way! You should have told me yourself, but all I hear spouting from your mouth are lies! I've had enough! In fact, I'm going to do something about that. Don't! Elysium, and I hate your dress! Good luck manipulating anyone with your lies ever again. If I were you, I'd leave before I say anything else stupid. How did you do that? It comes naturally to me. You're making a huge mistake. With war brewing outside my window, I wonder what you'd suggest I do instead. Your beautiful Elysium has turned to rubble, all because of your stubbornness, Persephone. You fool! I made this place beautiful for you! Nothing I've ever done for your love has been good enough! You're a prisoner too, you should know it's impossible to love your captor. This is the last time I'll ask. Let us go. Let me go! You've turned this whole realm against me. But you didn't do it alone. Go. Your friend here won't be as lucky. Thank you, Persephone. I'm forever grateful. Go easy on Cassandra. Your turn. We don't have to do this. Just let me pass through Elysium. Adonis would have rallied the people with or without my help. You're lying! Persephone, you don't have to control everything. You're free to let go. Maybe you can finally go home. You know nothing of what I've been through. I was stolen from your world. I had no choice but to take this one for myself. Tell your boss I'm ready. Also, Berg to come get me himself, if he's not a coward. What the hell is wrong with you? What else could I do? 
They were out to kill us. Even Alethea ran for the hills. There was no reason to massacre them. Everything okay down there? It sounded like a war zone. We're fine, Alana. But don't expect much action anytime soon. Seems like this specific memory in the Animus is down for the count. Let me guess. That happened when you ripped me out. Great. That's the last thing we need. I had no choice. Complaining won't repair the computer. The memory files are overriding each other, and I'll need time to sort them out. You know what? I need some time alone. We may as well head back to Greece until Alethea returns anyway. That wasn't so long of a wait, was it? I've patched the memories, and we're good to go back in the simulation. With Abstergo on our tails, we have to move fast. You can't blame me for being eager to get going. I won't blame you if you don't blame me for what happened earlier. It's just, Atlantis isn't our little secret anymore. Let's try to move on, shall we? Victoria, you have to trust me in there. I know what I'm doing. We're friends, Layla. But more than that, I'm your doctor. I can't ignore what's happening to your body when you're in there. Something is really off. I'm fine. I don't know how much more doctor talk I can take. Ugh, I'll never get used to that. She comes out of nowhere. Glad you're back. Bet even you didn't see that Abstergo ambush coming, Alethea. Not exactly. But as long as they're gone and you're ready, your journey with the stuff continues. After that cliffhanger in the pit of Elysium, you bet I'm ready. <laughs> I have to see what happens next. By interacting with the Keeper's insights in Elysium, Cassandra exchanged knowledge with the staff. That means by extension of the Animus, so have you. I gotta tell you, I do feel stronger somehow. Try to keep your head in there. Good luck, Layla. Oh! 
You reek of mortal. Hades. The last mortal to dance with Cerberus and live was Heraclius. But then he had Athena and Hermes wrapped around his mighty finger. So tell me, who's wrapped around your finger? Which god helped you slay my beast? Your wife's the one who pushed me into a pit with your beast. My sweet Persephone pushed you to your death. And you've done us all a great disservice by not dying. It wasn't my plan to be thrown down that hole, but here I am. What do you want from me? Thanks to you, my realm is more chaotic than ever. With Cerberus gone, there's nothing to stop the dead from crossing over to the world of the living. So find another dog. You find another dog! I'm sorry you had to see that. The blood runs hot in my family. <clears throat> you did this, so I think it's only fair that you fix it. Fine. Tell me where you keep the multi-headed monsters around here, and I'll be right back. <laughs> no, 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 my dear Keeper. My realm, my rules. I have four gates. Instead of one guardian for them all, I want you to find me four guardians. One for each of them. The underworld is filled with kings, heroes, legends. All lost. All trying to find purpose. You could give them that purpose. Teach me how to use this stuff, and it's a deal. Ah, yes. The trials of the Keeper. I've already heard how you'll stop at nothing to figure out that boring little stick of yours. This boring little stick? Tell you what. Go talk to my ferryman, Harun. Help him put things back in order, and I'll help you fulfill your destiny. See what you've done? These are everywhere now. Fix it. Oh, I'll fix it. My brother and I have a little wager on whether or not you'll succeed in your quest. Don't let me down. You don't want to owe me twice. Killed a three-headed beast, got yelled at by Hades, 
And now I'm on my way to meet the ferryman of the underworld. How was yours? The sun gives off no words. <laughs> Are you the ferryman? A busy ferryman. Someone just had to kill the guardian of the gate, and now I'm up to my eyeballs in rotting newcomers. So, unless some god sent you to plug all the holes and clean up the mess between the realms, I don't want anything to do with you. It just so happens that Hades sent me. What did a shiny, living fleshling like you do to end up in debt to the god of the underworld? I, uh, <clears throat> may have killed Cerberus. Well, now that Hades' big dog is dead, rifts have opened all across the underworld. My passengers are being attacked by prisoners of Tartaros and all of his little dogs. Listen, I have to find four guardians to protect the gates and close the rifts. Hades said you'd need my help. Unbelievable. He sends a fleshling through the underworld to fix a problem only the dead can solve. Only the dead can solve. So that's why I felt so weak when I fought those things. The last fleshling who worked for Hades wore a special suit of armor, but he's been torn to shreds. Now the armor's been scattered across the realm. My mother told me my path would be tough, but she never prepared me for this. And you're going to have to fight some pretty vengeful warriors to collect four of the pieces. The fifth, a set of gauntlets, has gone missing. You... do fine. Time to put this place back in order. All you need to do is collect some armor, defeat angry warriors, and find four guardians to protect the underworld. Right. Seeing as you're new here, I'll give you some advice. The Baron Pond, the Eternal Battlefield and Hades Palace are all excellent places to start. And if you happen to have any spare time, I've got some work for you as well. Phoebe? Oh, Phoebe, I never thought I'd see you again. Are you a goddess? 
Phoebe, it's me! Cassandra! It's nice to meet you, Cassandra. Is that your eagle? I wish I had an eagle. I know you do, Phoebe. I know you do. What are you doing here? Playing? How do you know my name? I'm sorry if I startled you. Someone told me your name once and... Uh... I never forgot it. I don't remember you. Do you work for the man with one eye? Who's that? He gave me this water when I was thirsty. You drank Lethe's water? Phoebe, this is very important. I need you to remember who gave you that. I... I don't remember his name. Um, he took my toy. You had an eagle, like Icarus. If we get your eagle back, Maybe you'll remember. No, I remember everything. I think. The man with one eye should never have given you this water or taken your toy eagle. We're going to get it back. You mean, steal? We're not going to steal it. Just borrow. But I like the way you think. Want to come with me? You want me to come on an adventure with you? Okay. Then let the adventure begin. She was brave and smart. She'd say she looked up to me, but I'm the one who looked up to her. You looked up to her? Did you ever tell her? No. I wanted to. But I ran out of time. Don't be sad. I bet she knew. That girl left Kefalonia eventually. Where did she go? Athens. Where she was loved by people like Pericles. Does that name sound familiar to <laughs> That's a funny name. It sounds like a sneeze. What about Anthusa? No one who meets her forgets her. No, sorry. <laughs> okay, we're here. We'd better stay put while I go find your toy. Stay hidden.
Even if this doesn't bring her memory back, we'll make new ones, together. Eagle. Couldn't have done it without you. Now, hold it. Do you remember anything? Cassandra? Yes. That's my name. Good, Phoebe. Good. There's nothing wrong with you. Adults are selfish, stupid, 
They don't realize how incredible a girl like you is until... you're gone. What do you mean? Why don't you tell me what you remember? Pericles was dying. Everyone who wasn't sick yet needed to get out of Athens. I thought I was alone. I was always alone. And then... <sighs> I'm so sorry, Phoebe. I'm... Where are the Golden Fields? You mean Elysium? I was there. It was beautiful. But I came here to find my parents. You traveled to the underworld to save your family. That's very brave. Just like you want to find yours. But mine still need me. I should go to them. Phoebe, you've been through a lot and you've never met your parents. It's okay to be nervous. I was nervous to meet mine. I wouldn't be nervous. If you came with me? It would be an honor to be there for you when you meet your parents. Come on! The last I heard about my parents, they were hiding near the Ixion Way. Hiding? From what? The underworld is scary. Maybe they're not fighters like us. I could teach them what you taught me. I'm sure you could. I told you. Go tell the Cyclops the girl isn't here. And neither is her family. Now get back! Relax. We're not going to hurt you. But we need to know what happened here. Those thugs followed the Cyclops of Kefalonia to their graves. And now they follow him in the underworld. He sent them through here, looking for a girl. The man with one eye. Have you ever met a girl named Phoebe? We don't know a Phoebe. Why were they looking for the girl? I'm not sure. I was a friend to her parents. They used to hide here. They told tales of their daughter, a great warrior who sailed to Elysium. They called her a warrior? When Cerveros died, they snuck off to the Golden Fields to find her. But now, the Cyclops is looking for them all. Excuse us, please. I remember now. The man with the one eye is the Cyclops. He forced me to drink the water. He must know we stole your eagle back and came to retaliate. What do we do? The gates to Elysium are open, but you know the Cyclops. He won't stop until he gets what he wants. We have to deal with him. What about her? She's a friend of my parents. I want to help her. She seems like she can fend for herself. 
The Kiris are magic. They heal people who get hurt in battle. They live close by. I could... Phoebe... I can do this. I'll be quick. Then we can fight the Cyclops. <sighs> All right. But don't take too long. Or I'm coming after you. This is it. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. Phoebe's eagle. But where is she?
The Eagle Bearer. I overheard the Cyclops saying you were in the Underworld, but I didn't believe it. I'm looking for a girl. Her name was Phoebe. Is. Her name is Phoebe. They took a girl onto one of their boats, but... But what? She wasn't moving. Get out of here while you can. I'm going to find the Cyclops and stop him once and for all. Take this as thanks. You can pay Charon to send you down the sticks after them. The nurse said the Cyclops took a friend of mine down the sticks. Oh, the young girl from Elysium. They dumped her lifeless body into one of my old pods. Take me to her. What is it you fleshlings do to calm down? Breathe? Yes. Breathe and tell me what happened. There's no time, Haron. We're taking your ferry down the fucking sticks now. Very well. I know precisely where the Cyclops of Kefalonia was taking your young friend. It's a gate. The place should seem familiar to all of you. Thank you. Now we have to go. My home on Kefalonia. How is this possible? Baby! Baby! Been a long time. Heard you and the girl finally came down to join us. Couldn't pass up the opportunity to show you both a warm Kevalonian welcome! If you hurt her... If... I will cut out your other fucking eye and this time it's going up your ass, Cyclops! No one calls me that! <laughs>
no, 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 no. Ella. Ella. Earth. Mother of all. I greet you. Aniasu. Cassandra? You're okay. And you're... here. I'll always be with you, Phoebe. Forever. No matter what. Thank you. Can you stand? Oof. What is this place? And where is the Cyclops? Don't worry, the Cyclops is gone. And this? ...is a doorway to Elysium. So that's it? Through there... ...I'll find my real parents. You can do this, Phoebe. Let's go. Seeing this place... ...makes me miss Kefalonia. We had some good days, didn't we? I don't want to go. Phoebe, growing up means doing things you don't want. But you do them anyway because you're brave enough to do what's right. Staying with you could be right. Don't be afraid. I'm leaving this place too once I finish what I started. But I will be with you. I, uh, found this. Take it with you. To keep me close. What if... my parents don't like me? If they don't like you... that's their problem. But you have to give them a chance to love you. And if they don't take it, then you'll make a new family. Just like we did on Kefalonia. But I won't be able to forget you. You're my family too. Can I come back here and find you? You're strong enough for this. Never doubt that. If you ever feel lonely, find that strength, and you'll be able to push through it. You'll always be my family, no matter what. I think I'm ready. Phoebe, the warrior who sailed to the Golden Fields. Phoebe, who plunged into the underworld to save her family. Phoebe, the eagle bearer. You have made me so proud. Walk tall. I told you she wouldn't let the kid lose her memories. Instead, she drew out the child's own strength and inspired her to endure her burden. Remarkable.
pay this as promise. Those must be the escaped prisoners of the current have mercy after all. Oh, Mistyos, your appearance is what I've been waiting for. Funny. You're the last person I want to see. Of course, of course. Our parting terms were less than amicable. You sent me to kill my father and tried to kill me. Which I now regret deeply. Seeing the underworld torn apart by chaos has shown me the error of my ways. If you think, after everything you did, I'd believe a word you say... <laughs> Malaga. I'm not the same man you knew. I promise I can prove it. What a mess. El Pinor, I expect this to be cleaned up. Of course, Hades. And consider finding a more permanent solution to the mongers' attacks while you're at it. The mongers here too? The monger escaped Tartarus. He's continuing the cult's work by recruiting other escaped prisoners as they exit the rifts. I've seen them. They put up a good fight. We've captured one of them, but he won't tell me where the monger is hiding. Threaten him, perhaps? What makes you think I'd help you? Hades and I are close, and you need him to teach you about your staff. Helping me helps Hades. He'll appreciate this, Cassandra. As would I, of course. Fine. But I'm doing this for myself. By Zeus! Not you again, Alpinor! Ah, I've heard enough of your spineless posturings to last two lifetimes. Tell me where the monger is hiding. Or I start breaking bones. Come now, Cassandra. There's no need for that. You said... My friend, I offer you freedom from Tartarus if you tell us where the monger is hiding. Which I know is what he promised, but will inevitably fail to deliver. All right. Fine, fine. If only to shut you up. He's hiding out in the Lost Temple of Nyx. You'll never be able to take him down anyway. Exceptional. I've been tracking the monger from the moment the rifts appeared. There's just one problem. The lost temple of Nyx is behind the veil. The veil? 
Since Cerberus was killed, it spilled out into the underworld. The Veil of Tartarus was created to keep out living mortals so that only those beyond redemption could enter the prison of the wicked. Which means you'll make it through just fine. But Haron said I would need armor. Yes, the armor of the fallen. Lucky for you, I may be able to help so we can both infiltrate the monger's hideout. Haron already told me that four of the armor pieces are guarded by the Fallen, but that the gauntlets were lost long ago. Haron tends to confuse lost with misplaced. Rest assured, I will help you find the gauntlets. Meet me at Kronos' treasury. Would you blame me if I didn't? I learn your trust in time. And we can begin that process now. This door will lead us to Kronos' treasury, where the gauntlets you'll need are stored. I have the key here. If you want me to trust you, you have to start being honest with me. Why do you have the key? Hades had me tidy the treasury for him once. It isn't wise to steal from the Titans. The Titans fell long ago. No harm in using their tools to put a stop to the monger. So what? You're Hades' housekeeper now? I like to work for him only on occasion, that is all. Think of me as his... mentee. Hades doesn't strike me as the mentoring type. There's much about Hades that you don't understand. I'll need those gauntlets if we want to catch the monger. My thoughts exactly. I'll offer my assistance as your personal guide through the treasury. Let's just get this over with. Of course, Mistyus. Whatever you need. As though this path can be cleared from the other side. If you wouldn't mind climbing across, the I might consider it. Then again, I might not. I'll see how I feel when I get there. for me. Thank you. 
So, um, how's working for the God of the Dead? You really want to know? Try me. All the myths and stories don't come close to doing Hades justice. He's cunning, inspiring, a true architect of life, and also of death. He's everything I aspire to be. Cronus's treasury. Cronus hid all his worldly possessions here, far away from the sounds that had been prophesied to be his undoing. It was my favorite story as a child. All the myths, stories, and epics told throughout the generations were transpiring beneath us all along. And now we get to play among the gods, together. Let's find the gauntlets quickly. Over here. These gauntlets will help me get past the veil. Thanks for your help. My pleasure, of course. All right. Let's get out of here. I'm ready to hear about your lost souls. Oh, them? Not everyone in the underworld belongs here. These souls are lost. Their true resting place deserves to be found. I'll help you, Ferryman. But where should I start? There's a soldier, an Athenian. He wished to die an honorable death in battle, but as he charged towards the enemy, he slipped in the dirt. ...and fell. Sounds like quite the warrior. He needs a glorious death to pass on to Elysium, but he cannot go to war without his weapon and armor. One is located in the Restless Necropolis, and the other is in the hands of the champion known as Swordfish. Swordfish... ...of course he'd be here. I'll return this soldier's equipment and help him claim the death he seeks. Hey, 
swordfish will have the Athenian sword. This must be the sword. I've got the Athenian sword and armor. Now I just have to return them to him. The smell of death is always the same. Just clumsy. A fellow warrior. Did death find you on the battlefield like it did me? Death hasn't found me yet. I died pathetically on my knees in the dirt. That's why I'm trapped here. I'll give you the glorious death you seek. I can't fight you unarmed. There's no honor in that. Lucky for you, I have your armor and weapon here. Get the hang of it. I joined the war to protect my home from the siege of Sparta. Tell me, did we save glorious Athens and its people? Athens is safe. Your army defeated Sparta at the gates of the city. You have brought me comfort. Now, bring me peace. Don't go easy on me, Athenian. Let's end this the right way. Ready to help another of your lost dead. My, my. Aren't you a productive little fleshling, hmm? Tell me, how did things go with the Athenian? Athens meant everything to him. I spared him the truth. You brought comfort to a troubled soul. I couldn't tell him the plague destroyed everything he loved. Ah, the plague. Busy times. So busy, I lost someone. A woman whose family couldn't bear to bend the body. So she's stuck down here. She now wanders the halls of the passage of souls, still sick with plague. The Thanados pyre can purify the dead, but the only way she survived the ordeal is by consuming an asphodel flower. I'll get the flower and make sure she reaches the pyre. Be careful out there. Something as rare as an asphodel flower in this place will surely draw a great deal of attention. Let's 
Let's go. Here we are. Reminds me of Elysium. That's what I'm looking for. Testicles! Ah, it's nice to see you in one piece. Mistyos! Yes, I like it. Nothing trying to eat, Testicles. What are you doing here? Came looking for a magic flower. Sounded so pretty. Wanted pretty flower oil. Have you seen it? I have the asphodel flower. I needed to save someone who's sick. But I need the flower, Mistyos. I came all this way to get it. And I will. <laughs> Flower for testicles. <laughs> There she is. Let's go. Just the mortal I was looking for. What do you want, Hades? It's funny how the tiniest, most insignificant things to some 
can mean the world to others. Good. More riddles. My darling wife hasn't been the same since the death of Cerberus. I would see her smile again. The flower you picked is the last of its kind in my world. And it happens to be her favorite. But Haron wants me to give it to the plagued woman. And you wanted me to help Haron. Tell you what. Give the flower to me. And in exchange, I'll give you the location of one of the fallen you're hunting. Keep me out of your marital affairs. The flower goes to the sick woman. Have it your way. My hounds will get their meal. They always do. Please, stay back. I'm very sick. I've been sent to help you get better. Nothing can cure me. Even here, I'm cursed by this plague. Here, eat this flower. It will help you feel strong. I feel different. I feel better. But the plague is still with me. I will take you to a place where you can feel better. There is a fire that will cleanse you. A fire? Are, are you sure it will help me? Won't it hurt? The flower you ate will protect you. If this is the only way, then I suppose I have to try. Am I cursed to be sick forever? I brought the woman to the pyre. <sighs> I like having an assistant. If only you were dead, you could stay forever. Unfortunately, not my plan. Such is life. Hmm? And death. On to the next lost souls. A family devastated by war wanders without refuge. I know how it feels to lose a home. Yes, you all have sad stories to tell. At least most who come here are dead now. I think I would still be sad if I was dead. The suffering you fleshlings inflict on each other never ceases to astound me. And that's why we are helping all the lost we can. You're right. They deserve to have somewhere safe to stay. Someone 
is hiding over there. Please don't hurt us! Leave us alone! Stay back! I know how to fight. I'm not here to hurt you. Then what do you want? I've come to take you away from this place. Take you somewhere safe. Why would you help us? There's no time. The Hounds of Hades are coming. And when they find you... I can't let my family suffer here anymore. All right. What's your plan? There has to be somewhere nearby where you'd be safe. There's a cave not too far from here that could provide some shelter. It didn't look very inviting, but it's better than here. Anywhere else? There was also an abandoned camp. It would be ideal if not for all the strange creatures in the area. It could be dangerous. We should go to the camp. Stay close. Devron Nexo! To hurry. We're too exposed out here. The hounds. Stay behind me. A disaster! Can't I just have a normal day of ferrying the dead? Tell me what happened. All of these souls have had their coins stolen. Assistant, you have to find the thief and get the coins back so the dead can cross the sticks. Why don't you just let them through? <sighs> I know you're new around here, but that's not really how we do things in the underworld. Besides, Hades would burn me one toe at a time if I did. All right. I'll find the coin thief. You hear that, everyone? My assistant will find the coin thief. I'll come back when I have news. I'd start looking in the Passage of Souls. It's where the first coins went missing. Good luck. With all the thieves in the underworld? I'll need it.
buried something here and then came back for it. Must have been in a hurry. A gold bracelet. But it's broken. Must have snapped when its owner was digging. Empty coin purses. The strings have been cut. How am I supposed to find anything in this dirty, horrible wasteland? You must be looking for your stolen coins. How do you know? Maybe you're the criminal who came to admire their handiwork. I'm looking for the thief, too, but I won't help with that attitude. Fine. I've found nothing here myself anyway. I think I've got what I need. don't look like the usual people I see passing through here. I'm not dead, if that's what you mean. I'm searching for something. Makes two of us. I'm looking for the coins I lost. Uh, they must be around here somewhere. Does this dagger mean anything to you? Hmm. I didn't see anyone with a dagger. Think of when you last had them. I remember wandering with the crowd of other people. We were all moving towards the dock. I don't remember where we came from. But as we reached this place, the crowd halted as a man, a politician, I think, got up and addressed us. Where were you when you realized your coins were missing? At the dock. I was going to pay the ferryman when I discovered they were gone. Did you see anything strange during your travels? Mm. Only the politician. He was moving away from the docks, while everyone else was moving toward them. I have to go. Good luck in your search. of my coins? I found this dagger. Remind you of anything? Aha! That's what I felt. It nicked me when they cut the strings of my purse. So did you see who did it? No, I was too focused on the politician addressing the crowd. Captivating man. You must remember when you last had your coins. Of course I remember. I was walking through the valley with the rest and struck up conversation with a merchant. So arrogant. Still wearing his jewels and gold. Won't do much for him here. <laughs> when I reached the docks, they were gone. Did anything catch your attention? The merchant I spoke to seemed nervous. He asked if we really had to pay the ferryman. Perhaps his coins were already stolen? I think I've got what I need. Finally! I was starting to worry you'd got lost. I didn't think your kind were capable of worrying. There are many things you don't know about us. Like how impatient we are. Have you discovered who stole the coins? The politician is responsible for taking the coins. I lost count of how many selfish politicians I ferried across the sticks long ago. We must deal with this now before more chaos ensues. Let's make this quick. I'm told you were the one to steal the coins. Me? No! I'm innocent! Of course you are. Problem is, my friend here thinks otherwise. 
You've got the wrong man! Please! You know, this is the worst part of my job. I can't take it anymore! I didn't want any of this. No one should have to pay to enter the underworld! Hades, so nice to see you. Whatever brings you to my shore? I could hear this ruckus from the bowels of Tartarus. What is happening here? <gasps> this man stole coins from the dead and then threw them into the river Styx. Mortals always seem to find new ways to surprise me. I'm glad you're finding this funny, but these people had coins for fair passage, and now they don't. If they do not have coins, they cannot cross into my realm. That is the law, Harold. They were sent here with the coins as law and tradition state. They deserve to be granted passage. Why don't we let our friend here decide their fate? These people were robbed of their chance for peace. They deserve passage. Well said, Cassandra. They will be granted passage to the underworld. And what of him? Feed him to your hounds. <laughs> I was hoping you would say that. <laughs> Sometimes we have to make difficult choices. To be able to do so confidently is a rare trait in your kind. I've done it before. I'll have to do it again. For such a hopeless fleshling, you've come a long way. Now that Hades is gone, there's something you should have. Thank you, Harun. It's a shame you have to go. You've been a good assistant. I hope you find the answers you seek.
Your next soldier! Brasidas! It's me, Cassandra! We fought Athenians together at the Battle of Pylos. The battlefield was engulfed in flames. I was cut down by a warrior like no other. The same warrior who sent me here. Cassandra? It's good to see you, old friend. Friend? Friends watch each other's backs, but you were always out for yourself. My needs and the needs of our people were never a passing thought. All you cared about was Sparta. Did you ever consider that Sparta never cared about anyone else? We need to put the past behind us now. What are you doing here? You're not dead, are you? No, not yet at least. I have a staff from my father. My real father. It has powers. I was sent to the underworld to learn how to use them. Powers? It's a long story. But I've been all over Elysium looking for answers. My search brought me here. You've been to Elysium? Honor the gods, honor Sparta. Keep your oaths and Elysium is yours. My father told me this as a child, and every single day of my life I lived by that code. But now in death, I'm sentenced to this misery. If there's anyone I fought with who deserves paradise, it's you. Then why am I here? You should be taking this up with Hades. This was Hades' decision. He says I can go to Elysium on one condition. I need to confront my greatest enemy. Demos. Demos. Brasidas, you shouldn't be waiting here to fight him. Why not? I've met Hades. There must be a catch. What did he say, exactly? He said... To walk Elysium in death, the son of Sparta must confront that which defeated him in life. Gods and their fucking riddles! Can't they ever just say what they mean? <sighs> but I think I've already solved your first problem. And that is? A true son of Sparta wouldn't dare face an enemy without their shield. We need to find yours. It's in the Forgotten Sepulchre. I tried to retrieve it, but Hades sent guards to defend the tomb after some Malakas killed Severus. What kind of Malakas just goes around and kills Cerberus? Seriously? Whoever it was, certainly made things around here... Complicated. I wasn't the friend you needed in life. 
Let me be a friend to you now. Courage eludes me in the underworld. Deep down, I'd hoped I'd never have to face Demos again. The weight of your shield will help you feel like your old self. Make sure to take only mine. Taking any others will be your doom. might be the key to opening the door. There are too many possibilities. Maybe there's an answer deeper in the tomb. Perhaps.
people drink Lethe's water here in the underworld to forget. Water, time, the mind. It's another river. I should return to the door. The underworld. Drink the. I should watch my step around here. Three shields. Which one belongs to Brasidas? <sighs> Brasidas' shield. Your shield, General. I'll never forget the day this was first handed to me. I was a boy. It was as tall as I was. My commander told me, to hold this is to hold up Sparta. Drop it, and Sparta falls. Tell me what Elysium's like. It isn't what you think. It's... Do you feel cold? Elysium is boring. Not since I showed up. Ah, yes. You do have a knack for livening things up wherever you go. Ah, still dreaming of paradise, I see. Well, 
No one wants you to get what you deserve more than me. I'm glad you two have found each other. We could all use a little help from time to time. Well, you've got your shield. Are you ready to face your enemy? I am. Don't look, Brasidas. Hades is trying to get to you. Afraid of you, Themos. What is this? An even greater enemy defeated you long before Themos ended your life. Themos was blessed by the fury of the gods, and even after he cut you down once, you still didn't learn. It wasn't hubris. I fought for honor. You made Sparta proud that day, Brasidas. You honored your father's oath. Perhaps I didn't. A Spartan should trust the warrior at their side. This time, we fight together. It would be my honor. It was good fighting together again. I guess it's time to say goodbye. Spears were my brother's idea. Poseidon can be cruel sometimes. I did as you asked. You promised me Elysium. Hmm. Not quite. But you said... I said that to walk Elysium in death, a son of Sparta must confront that which defeated him in life. And you have not yet done so. I know, I know. It's all very hard to wrap your little mortal minds around. Which is why I'm going to help you. Why these games? Why not just let him go? Because eternity is long. Letting you go wouldn't be much fun, now would it? Find the forest of Oasis. The dead will point the way. 
Come, Brasidas. The sooner we get this done, the sooner you can be free of this place. I've been waiting for you. Who are you? I am Lilera, and you are Brasidas. General, conqueror, hero. Hades sent me to find you. So you finally come to reunite me with my love. Charon carried us along the river, but we got separated. Bring my love to me, and I'll tell you all I know. Where must I go? Between the sulfuric pools and the village of the condemned, there is a cave. My love lies within. This task is mine. I will go. So, uh, been here long? I'll tell you all. If Vrasidas succeeds. What do you mean, if? The weight of the past can be a much heavier burden to carry than we realize. I should go find him. He might need my help. Come on, move! <laughs> This must be the place.
There you are. What's wrong? What is this place? The cradle of the underworld. Little ones who die too soon are kept here. The dead cannot enter. The dead can't enter, eh? Well, let's see about the living. Don't want to be caught here. coming from. It's a graveyard. Baby's bird. Her love was her child.
with us! What did you find? After! We need to get out of this cave first! You! Wait right there! I'll kill you! Just like old times, ever see this? How oh, I've missed this! What did you find? Ashes. Her love was her baby. Why would Hades have you returned the ashes of a woman's child? I don't know. What did you do to him? The past was too much for him to bear. Brasidas, talk to me. I... can't. Tell me what you did to him, or I will cut you down from that tree and... <laughs> and what? Hurt me? There is nothing you could do that Vrasidas the Butcher hasn't already done. The Butcher? Vrasidas, you didn't. We were a quiet village before the Spartans came. My husband was no warrior. When the battle was over, Spartans flooded the village, drunk on victory and blood. They torched our homes. Your husband attacked me in the street. He was protecting his people, his family. But Brasidas butchered my husband. And when I tried to protect him, he tossed me aside. <laughs> My love didn't survive the fall. I didn't know. And so we named him Vrasidas the Butcher. He massacred my people and took everything from me. 
I found my husband's sword and ended the pain. Is this true? I don't know what happened. Sparta hands weapons to children and tells them to hold your shield as to hold up Sparta. The same Spartan honor destroyed my family. Come, Brasidas. Let's leave this woman alone. Honor the gods. Honor Sparta. Keep your oaths, and the Lyceum is yours. I made an oath to protect the innocent, and I broke it. Still feel you deserve to walk the fields of paradise, butcher? Don't call him that. Why not? That woman's entire village does. What's left of it, anyways? You Spartans really know how to torture a village. You never answered my question. Say the word, and Elysium is yours. Help me, Cassandra. I, I don't know what to do. Rasidas, you were a friend to me like no other. But after hearing that woman's story, I... If I had done those things... I'd have to stay and make up for what I'd done. I want to stay. I don't belong in Elysium. It is for the honorable. But after everything that's happened, you've made me realize I've lost my honor. I've lost my place in paradise. Is this your final decision? Excellent. And I have just the task for you. The cradle is now open to you, Brasidas. You will spend eternity reuniting families separated by war. Do you accept this fate? I do. Good. Now, say goodbye. Thank you for everything you've done for this old warrior. Thank you for being a friend. Goodbye, Brasidas. It was good to see you. He would stay all along, didn't you? I had a feeling. Want to know a fate worse than death? An eternity without toys. There's nothing more predictable than an honorable Sparta.
killer who tried poisoning politicians in Athens. is next. I can still feel Zemos smash my head against the Argus. Thanks to the power Zemos gave me, I am immortal. The Pictitos. The one my brother killed to spare me. than I remember. to stay out of sight. Now let me tell you my plan to catch the monger. Let's hear it. I'm ready. Exceptional. I'll distract the prisoners while you head straight to the monger. We can't let him escape. Once you defeat him, take him to the deepest abyss of Tartaros. You'll have to pass through the entrails of Gaia to get there. Entrails of... Uh, never mind. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sandra, I told you I take care of these guards. Yeah. Go get the monger. Make a good pair. At first I was worried you wouldn't stick to the plan. You haven't been very trusting of me. But can you really blame me? You and the cult destroyed my life. I understand, but tell me you see that I've changed. That I'm trying to do good in death where I failed in life. I cannot move on without your acceptance. Suppose you have changed a bit. My dear Eagle Bearer, you have no idea what your forgiveness means to me. Who said anything about forgiveness? I feel as though I can finally move on. Hades, I, we returned the monger to Tartarus for you, just as you asked. I made no such request. But you referred to the monger as a thorn in your side. And you inferred that I wanted him returned. Clearly, you still have much to learn, Elpinor. We'll discuss this later at my palace. Still, 
I'm on my way to eternal peace. Thanks to you. I believe you're forgetting something, brother. Why would you help your enemy find peace? I thought you and El Pinor were working together. El Pinor was merely a means to further along your far more interesting journey. Any chance this means you'll teach me more about the staff now? Patience, Keeper. A few more twists are still to come along your path. I'm looking forward to seeing how it all plays out. First El Pinor, now you. I'm so sick of everyone using my life for their entertainment. It's far more than that. What are you talking about? You'll know soon enough. Challenge you, Perseus. I need your help. My help must be earned. Perseus, we're allies, and I need your help. Go to the gates and protect this place. I should be careful. High security here. Ah! <laughs> 
This place needs a king, Agamemnon. Go to the gates and protect the people the way you do best. Achilles, Hades needs you. Go to the gates and guard them with your life. Ah! <laughs> 
Heracles, rise up and be a hero for Hades and for all the people in the underworld. Cassandra returns. Victory written across her face. Where's your brother? Not here to settle any bets? It's already been settled. He lost. The gates have their guardians. Haron's lost souls have found peace. Now, tell me what you know about the staff. <laughs> I never promised you that. I promised to fulfill your destiny. Enough games, Hades. I did as you asked. We had a deal. You were never in a position to bargain with me. Your life was mine. The moment you killed Cerberus, I could have had anyone place guardians at those gates. Truth is, I needed you to grow a custom. What are you talking about? Oh, did I not mention? I have a fifth gate. And you're going to spend the rest of eternity protecting it. That is your destiny. I didn't bow to your wife, and I won't bow to you. I don't see what's funny. You act like any of this matters. 
but you're a prisoner wherever you are. Victoria, what did you do? You guys okay down there? Cut the comms! This has gone way too far. I'm shutting this down. I can handle it. You're not acting like yourself. You're acting like a child. Look at you. Can't you see what the staff is doing? Plugging into Themos's memories. Letting you run rogue in the underworld? It's the bleeding effect. It's hurting you. You need to stop. Give it back, now! No! It's me or the staff! You have to choose! Let go! It's not worth it! This is for your own- Get up, Victoria! The air of memories would never do this. Do this? Victoria was my friend. It wasn't me. This won't work. I need time. You think I did this on purpose? It was the staff, Alethea. I'm not a bad person. I don't kill. The air of memories in my vision had foresight. Your reaction was entirely human and inhumane. I fear you'll learn nothing from what I've created for you. I am the heir of memories. I can control the staff. Listen to me. I know I can do it. That is not for you to decide. I decide your worthiness. Though it may be too late for that. Fine. I'll go for a while. Just... Don't let anything happen to her, okay? And don't leave. Please. I'll be back. I'm not going anywhere. Damn it. I'm sorry, Victoria. But I can't quit now. Back so soon? Alethea, I know I wasn't gone long in the Animus, but I couldn't wait. I've been thinking about whether or not I should let you continue. And I have my answer, but I'm afraid you won't like it. Don't tell me I can't go into the third simulation. I'm sorry, Layla. I made a miscalculation, and I factored you in when it was a mistake to do so. I see that clearly now. It's time for you to leave Atlantis. You can't do this. Not now! I've seen Elysium and the Underworld. You can't take that away. If I'd known this reality would go the direction it did, you wouldn't have seen any of it. You're too human. Your DNA has succumbed to the corrupting nature of the staff. Listen, I know the bleeding effect is real, and accessing Themos's memory did affect me. But I've studied Isu artifacts. This is the last stage of my trials. When it's over, my DNA will be able to overcome the staff's control. Perhaps. But you won't see that through. My simulations are closed to you. I'm 
really sorry, Alithia, for everything up until now. You had such high hopes for me. I did, yes. But that was my own fault. I should never have let you go down this path. No, that's the thing. You were right. You saw something in me that, that I'd be the one to bring balance. And I still can if you let me. Even if I were to let you in, your doctor is dead. If I could take that back, I would. But I can't. And I have to keep going. From her calculations, your body wouldn't be able to withstand the simulations. My body is fine. The staff kept Cassandra alive for thousands of years. I've got a protection guarantee. Your mind is a different story altogether. You don't have the sense to see its degradation. When you break it down, this staff heals, Alethea. I could come out of this smarter, more in control. Invincible. That's quite a leap in logic. Just let me see for myself. Please. Go. Oh my god, thank you. You won't regret this. Here we go. I'll see you inside. That's enough! No need to shout. This isn't your domain, brother. Hades has nothing left to offer you. You are never meant to stay here, nor release you. You didn't belong on Gephalonia, and you didn't belong in Sparta. I can offer you a place you do belong. It's time you finally found it. Atlantis awaits. Anywhere is better than here. I won't forget this. There's no need for that here. You're safe. I've heard that before. This place isn't like any other you've been. There's no Persephone, no Hades. Just you. Just me. The Castis Vasilevs, the grand adjudicator of all Atlantis. But to you, I am Poseidon. What I'm offering you, Keeper of the Staff, is a place at my side. Join me as my Gustis. Welcome home. You expect me to live among you? A home among gods? Gods? We are much more than the human conception of gods. Your father called us the ones who came before. But as Alithia told you, we are the issue. You know about my staff, Pythagoras, and Alithia? I'm starting to feel very watched. Your trials in both Elysium and the Underworld? No. Your triumphs there are known to us. My trials forced me into rebellion. They made me face the dead. My hardships make me a good Dicastis. We don't always choose our path. But in this case, your blood shows for you. You possess both DNA strands. The best of humans and Isu. I have no doubt that you are our mutual future. I cry. I bleed. I make as many mistakes as anyone. How can I be the one you're looking for? 
It is precisely for those reasons that I know to trust you. Your sense of awareness is essential. If you say so. Humans have five senses to understand the world around them. We have been blessed a sixth. Knowledge. Ah, um. no. It is not merely your vision of the ego. The essence of that sense sleeps now. But it can be awoken in Atlantis. Your stuff is more than a key. It's a bridge between who you are now and who you must become. And if I fully awaken this sixth sense, I'll have mastered the stuff? That and more. Come, let me show you. I accessed power sources in Elysium and the Underworld. They helped my knowledge, I think. But they haven't changed my senses. In Atlantis, you'll find the sources that awaken your new sense much more concentrated. Not only will your knowledge grow here, but it will thrive. You'll find three such sources once you leave this palace. You know them as Keeper's Insights. Doesn't look like anyone can get through. It's blocked to those who haven't full access to our knowledge. Find the source of that knowledge within this palace. Try to pass through once you do. Hello, Layla. Alethea? What are you doing in here? You needed intervention. I couldn't stop you physically, so perhaps I can make you understand through technical means. No, I've got this. Stay out of it. a part of me. I think I'm starting to understand. It's like I can feel Isu memories and hear their wisdom. Now I know what you meant about the sources being more concentrated. I feel different. Many things are different here, the Castis. You'll discover that in time. Atlantis awaits you. I have one rule that is absolute. Our technology cannot be used on my human civilians. Their bodies cannot withstand the power. The Isu know this above all. So, I'm free to go? What task should the Dicastis do first? Even Atlantis is not a perfect society. It yearns for balance. So be that balance. 
Then when your role as guide to the people is fulfilled, it may well be perfection. Don't worry. You've already earned my respect, which is a trial in itself. Because this, His Eminence Atlas humbly requests that you join him at his doma to discuss a matter of grave importance. Right. I'll make sure to stop by. His Eminence? This place is more kings than Sparta. The Vicastis would accept my humble request. Ah, you're Atlas, I take it. In the flesh. I thank you for coming to see me. I'm sure you're very busy. The burden my father gave you is not a light one. Your messenger told me it was urgent. Gravely urgent, indeed. Well, here I am. It's my brothers, the Archons. They have issues with the human populations under their control. Tensions between Isu and humans are mounting. Without order, the problems will grow severe. I'll try and use my position to help them where I can. Find Hadiros, Amphiris, and Azeas. Through your shining example, I hope they learn the valuable lessons in discipline they so desperately need. And if I help them, you're hoping it'll maintain the peace between Isu and humans. That's the plan. Poseidon should have known they weren't ready for the responsibility an Archon bears, but that's his failing. I'll find the Archons, and make sure their problems are taken care of. Is a physician and an Archon? What have I missed? What must I do? Azais? You have your hands full. Vikastis, you're a welcome sight. The only one I've had in some time. So many sick. I'm surprised anything can spread in a place as advanced as this. Oh, it's shocking. Nothing I have tried will cure the sick or stop the pathogen spreading. I've lost so many already. Don't worry. We'll find a way to stop the sickness. Tell me what you need. Well, there was a device being worked on by a scientist named Consus. Its intention was to rapidly heal injuries and eradicate disease. Was? His device is missing. Scientists here have tried to replicate it based on the schematics, but it's still in the experimental phase, and it hasn't been tested on humans. So it may not work. That's not the biggest issue. Poseidon has outlawed the use of our technology on humans. I fear that if we don't act quickly, the pathogen will spread across Atlantis. If you think this healing device can help the sick, then I'll make sure that you have it. The wisdom of an issue, but the compassion of a human. You are a good choice for the Gustis. You'll find the device in one of the issue laboratories in the Consus archive. Oh, 
Vice as ice ones must be inside. I should try to stay out of sight. was in that box. What is tingling like mad? Must be more of these somewhere. A note. A forge of Atlantis. This can be used to create weapons. I have to find this place.
Nothing I've ever seen. I've brought the uh, glowing cloth you've asked for. It's a nanotech matter regenerator, in fact. But you have it. I can't believe it. Now then, let's see what this thing can do. Asais, what the fuck did you do? I thought I had calibrated correctly. Oh no, what have I done? I killed this poor human. The device doesn't work and you stole it against Poseidon's laws. What do we do now? This device is your only chance of stopping the sickness. You need to keep trying. Yes, you're right. Not trying will just mean more innocent lives are lost. I think if I make some adjustments, I can get it to function on humans correctly. Everyone seems to be looking much better. Well, almost everyone. The device still needs work, but it has incredible potential. Poseidon won't be happy that we broke his law, but I'm glad you were the one to do it and not me. In any case, I'm eternally grateful for your help. Thank you. This is it. That must be Amphiris. Why so many guards? Let her pass. Amphiris, if this is how you treat humans, I can see why you need so many guards. These aren't humans. They are animals. An animal should be in cages. I'm sure everything you do isn't without reason. But if you didn't call them animals, you might get a better reaction. A human did this to me while I slept. When they came to kill me, I survived. But they slaughtered my daughter like an animal. Humans don't act with logic or reason. Good or bad, they are driven by a will to survive. A trait we implanted to ensure efficiency. But that will become a kindled flame of insurrection. You led a rebellion yourself in Elysium. So I know you understand. If we don't act, the city will burn and many more lives will be lost. I don't see an army marching on Poseidon. This one said they plan to launch an attack. Someone needs to destroy the resistance before that happens. That's not a small request. Despite what you think, all the humans aren't a threat. It is the only path I see. But you are the Dicastis. Only you can choose the correct course of action. If we find and kill the leaders, the ones spreading the message, the rest will lose interest. An interesting theory. Perhaps you are right. If the leaders are removed, the rest may see the error of their opposition. Just leave it to me. I'll send a message they won't forget. Very well. You'll find the traitorous humans at an abandoned farmstead. Return to me when the situation is resolved. Here. What? They 
won't ask any questions. Let's keep out of sight. Vicastis, I'm glad to see you return safely. I almost considered sending a regiment of my guard after you. That would have been overkill. You can never be too careful when dealing with violent humans. Come, tell me, has the resistance been quashed? I killed the leaders. With them gone, their movement is dead. Ah, a sound strategy. But I fear the problem exists at the heart of humanity itself. Another leader will rise eventually. I know you don't trust them, but the humans will never challenge the issue directly. You are like gods to them. You must see that. It is an illusion we have tried to nurture already. But it won't last. However, for now you've done what was needed. One more Archon to go. Maybe I should just do that job too. An arena seems like a strange place to find an Archon. stars I was beginning to lose all hope Atlas said you needed help you don't understand the responsibility on my shoulders it's my job to concoct entertainment for the masses but I feel the crowd have grown bored of my grand spectacles I've seen some good plays and some bad ones we need more than a simple play if the audience leave my shows bored and restless who knows what they'll start plotting you think they'll become violent my purpose is to keep them preoccupied so they can't be violent. If your shows have become boring, you just need to get more creative. Oh, the humans are primitive. Their taste's basic. They like life's simpler joys. Blood, tragedy, romance, that sort of thing. So give the people what they want. What they want. Yes, I can hear the cheers now! 
The legendary De Castis Cassandra takes on Atlantis's finest warriors. You must take part in my next event. Sounds like a Pangration. I can definitely help with that. Not exactly. But I was inspired by your efforts in Elise. I know you'll do an exemplary job entertaining the crowds as you did then. If we pull this off, we'll be the talk of the city. It's worth a try. Welcome one, welcome all to yet another miraculous show here in our beloved city. Tonight we have a very special guest. Delvi Castis of Atlantis is here to entertain you. Our hero's first talent comes from the vaults of Atlantis. Our mind has overcome the power of the Atlantis gods. He's definitely not a Pangration. Our valiant hero's next challenge fast approaches. A champion bested by none in the city. No mercy, no guilt. Will this be too much for even the Dicassis to overcome? The Castis is victorious and the crowd have spoken. But will she show mercy or will she spill the blood we want? If you don't appease the crowd, I fear what Gaidiros will do. It was an honor to fight you, the Castis. You don't deserve to die just for losing. Our merciful the Castis has passed judgment. But do not dismay! Our champion lives to fight another day for you, the audience. And here we are, the end of today's event. Next to phase out the Castis' judgment, the very scum that taints our city. By the gods, what is this? For the good of Atlantis, today bear witness to the guilty and condemned given one final chance at redemption. They will be honored to die at the hands of our guest. Enough! I am not doing this! Mm. Uh, fear not, friends! We will make sure justice is delivered. Well, that was an unmitigated disaster. You said fight, so I fought. The problem is that I didn't say fight! I said be as entertaining as possible. This won't help the relations between your people. The humans will see what's going on eventually. The games have failed. The humans are restless and it's only a matter of time before they make their own entertainment. Their hunger for violence is insatiable. You just need to keep surprising them. Think like a human, not an issue. That's what I tried to do. But you showed the criminals mercy, and the crowd reacted as I expected. Killing people who can't defend themselves isn't entertainment, it's slaughter. Their sacrifice helps us keep the peace and maintain order. Or it would have if you played along. What are you saying, Radiros? That my grand experiment has failed. There's nothing left to be done but start again and try for better results. The arena must be cleared! This is madness!
Trust a stranger? I'm no stranger. I'm El Peace. And I've been watching. That's not ominous at all. <laughs> I'll drop the cloak and dagger. I've been training to become like you. But training isn't enough. You're more than a warrior. The blood of the gods runs through your veins. I thought they preferred Isu in Atlantis. The issue may as well be the divine with how they rule. Cold, calculating, indifferent to the people milling beneath them. But it's not just issue blood that makes you special, is it? There's something else. Well, you tell me. I'm talking about this, your spear. You weren't kidding when you said you'd been training. You're quite skilled. That means a lot coming from you. So, what do you want from me? I'm involved with Atlas. He's afraid of taking the relationship public. He says his enemies would exploit me as his weakness, so he keeps me a secret. Wait, you're in love with Atlas? From my experience, I'm not sure Isu men truly love. Nevertheless, I need to make him see that I can be his strength. Our partnership might be a key to bridging the gap between Isu and humans. Your love is strategic. If we take the relationship public, we could marry and I could rule the district by his side, influence policy and ease the tension between the two groups. But so long as I am merely human, it can never be. That's why I want to be like you. It would be nice to have another ally in Atlantis. What's your plan? At the Adamant Metalon, they harvest a metal used to create devices just like your spear. My spear is the strongest metal ever forged. Could this be used to forge other weapons? Well, Adamant ingots could. But what I need is raw Adamant. I know the one who can forge it for me. The Atlas can't suspect what I'm up to, so make sure you're not seen. He doesn't know about this? I'll tell him the truth when the time is right. Please, hurry back. And this is... interesting. That's the adamant metal on Elpis told me about. She said I should get the raw adamant without being seen. This area will be well defended.
I'll bring this to Elise. It's reacting with my staff somehow. Almost like they were meant to be together. <sighs> Raw adamant, as promised. Nice to see that you're as skilled as you look. I'm making the right choice to become more like you. It takes more than a weapon crafted from adamant to be like me. Luckily, I'm not crafting a weapon, but a powerful issue device. Still, all you have is raw adamant. Until I take it to a skilled blacksmith so he can forge an Isu device from the adamant. Well, you know where to find the Castes when you need her. The forging takes time. What we do next will change Atlantis irreversibly. You should make sure you complete all your duties as the Castes before meeting me at the Loma of Atlas. Castis, I heard you can help me with the solar floral regeneration project. Uh, the what? Oh, forgive me. Let me start from the beginning. I'm Neocles, an imperial botanist here in Atlantis. I'm engineering a way to aid floral regrowth. The flowers here can't just grow on their own? Oh, no. You're not one of those followers of Minerva, are you? Slow down. Why don't you just tell me what it is you need from me? Oh, apologies, Nicastis. You're new to Atlantis, and I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me begin. Basically, the plants are a key resource for us here. But a few cycles ago, humans overpicked them, and now the air is suffering. You want to grow more? In a sense, yes. I have a hypothesis, a theory that using a natural power source stronger than the sun will promote sustainable growth. You're losing me again. There are devices that project beams of light around the Garden of Triton. Redirecting them using the reflective surfaces would stimulate floral regrowth. You want me to move your lights? Yes! And the Castis, taking care of our natural resources, would send a message to all of Atlantis. A good message, I hope. It looks like all the light beams need to hit that central structure. device now please mentioned reminds me of how I opened the door to Atlantis
one down. Tell no case it's done. <sighs> that doesn't seem good. What happened? I moved your light beams. It seemed to be working, but then... The beams are aligned, yes, but... The power isn't running. What do you think the problem is? Uh, none of this makes any sense. The light beams should expand across the gardens and present with enhanced photons. There might be something wrong with your theory. I still don't see how this light is any better than the sun. The sun! That's it! 
The power source must also be displaced, rendering this light no different than the sun. No wonder you're the Dicastis. That's brilliant! So the next step is? Go to the control room and make sure the power source isn't displaced. And what exactly is this source? An igneous matter consisting of Imperial... It's a rock. Just make sure there's a rock in the control room. <sighs> Fine. I'll go see if this rock is there. Nocleus was right. There is no rock here. somewhere. Maybe if I move some things around. Castis doing running around here. I'm chasing down a thief. Looks like you're the one who took Neocles's rock. My name is Melita. I'm an environmental biologist, not a thief. Neocles has no claim to a natural power source like this. That rock must be worth a lot if you're trying to steal it. You're the Dicastis and you have no idea what the power source is? Aren't you invested in the future of our resources? It's easy. Put the rock in Neocles' device, and we'll fix the flowers. This isn't Neocles' first attempt at population balancing. When the flowers were overpicked and the bees started dying, first he attempted to artificially pollinate the flowers. When he artificially pollinated the flowers, the soil degraded. When the soil... I get the idea. But then, how would you fix the gardens? I wouldn't. Nature has been healing itself for eons. Neocles needs to stop meddling. Melita! You've always been obtuse about the project. No accountability for civilization's impact on the ecosystem. Insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. When will you accept your hypothesis has failed? Failed is inaccurate terminology. I simply adjusted my theory after experiencing unintended results. Enough bickering, both of you! You're right. I wanted to destroy the power source to end his project once and for all. But as the Dicastis, it should be your decision. All right, give me the rock. I'll end this once and for all. Are you mad? You've completely annihilated our chances at future sustainability! Trust in Yea. Nature will heal itself if you allow it. <coughs> Thank you, Dicastis. This is the right direction to go in. We might not see improvements right away, but the gardens will heal themselves.
before she kills again. Leave me alone! Want to tell me what that was all about? No. I'll be fine. The Castis! You can make this all go away! My name is Lyra, and you're... you! You've helped so many people. You're amazing and wonderful and powerful and... And you're here! Thank you. That's nice of you. You deserve all the praise and more. They called you a murderer. They don't seem the type, but as the Castis, I have to be sure. They're sure I'm responsible for what happened to that poor family. They said it's like the other murders, but I couldn't live with myself, I swear. Please, please clear my name. I'll find out what really happened. Just point me in the direction of the attack. Just down the road, uh, not too far from here. If I were you, I'd hide until I return. Oh, good idea. Thank you. You truly are a great de Castis. So what happened last night? Is this about what happened last night? How do you know? It's all everyone's talking about. And if the Tijastis is here, you must be looking into it. If you saw or heard anything, I need to know. I saw it from the distance. Heard it too. It's how we will never leave my mind. You saw a wolf? Beast is more like it. If you see it, run! I'll be careful. Ah, the great Ligastis. What did I do to deserve a visit? I'm looking into the attack that happened nearby last night. Ah, of course. I thought that was meant to be handled already. You mean the mob harassing that woman? I I've said enough. I understand your hesitation, but I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. I'll make sure whoever or whatever did this is punished. You've already met the guilty one. Lyra, you agree with the mob? Of course I do. I'm the one who told them it was her. I saw her last night, bloody and in a frenzy. It was dark. How do you know it was her? I know what I saw. <laughs> These footprints struck the blood out of the house. Whoever murdered them left this way. These aren't stamp wounds. They're claw marks. This bloodied cloth doesn't match the mother or daughter's robes. It must have come off the murderer. I should return to Lyra and let her know what I found. Find out what happened. The evidence I found was conflicting. Tell me. Two people saw what happened. One woman heard a wolf howling. But a man said he saw you, covered in blood and leaving the family's house. He's lying! Or mistaken. It was dark, so it could have been anyone. There's more. The killing blows weren't made by a weapon. Then by what? It almost looked like claw marks. And then there was this piece of cloth. It didn't match the clothes of anyone there. That's... that's mine! How did it get there? Someone wants me to look like I was responsible. Tell me the truth, de Castis.
drop the act. You killed them. You're not serious. What about how they died? I don't have claws. The marks could have been made from animals that smelled the bodies and came to feed. But the howl means nothing, except there was a wolf nearby. You were supposed to prove I was innocent. Don't you know what they do to human murderers? They send them to the arena. I won't let you take me. We need to go after Lyra before she hurts someone else. was me. What am I? I've seen this before. A minotaur, a cyclops, a horon. All were humans possessed by powerful issue devices. The only way I could stop them was by killing them. But you're able to change back. Somehow you're different. I don't remember coming here. Or why? I had to guess. That side of you knew it was caught. Maybe it thought coming out here was the only choice it had. That side of me? I've had dreams lately of being in a bright room, tied down, pain throughout my body. But now, I think that all really happened. I did kill them then. I don't remember it, but it was me, wasn't it? If you knew you would harm people again, and you could never control yourself, never stop, would you? Would I what? Jump? Of course I wouldn't. But you accused me of killing that family, and you were right. People were murdered. Even if we find a way to stop you from turning back, we can't undo what's already been done. I thought so. This is the only way. If I'm to die, I want to be the one to decide when that happens. You don't need to do this. The choice was made for me. I can't go on after what I've done, and what I'd likely do again. Thank you. For everything. Welcome back! I'm glad you could be here to witness this momentous occasion. Why are the Archons in chains? 
I invited my dear siblings here for one final lesson in leadership. It looks like an execution to me. Every experience in life should be a lesson, including death. You've been to the underworld, so I know you understand what these fools do not. You asked me to help the Archons. I did. Their problems are solved. Their problems only existed because they couldn't perform the duties their roles demanded. You're going to murder your brothers? For what? For order, for peace, for Atlantis. For Atlas, you mean. I am the rightful heir to Atlantis. I should be the Vicastis. I cannot defy Poseidon's will, but these fools don't deserve their power. I'll be a better Archon in their stead. Once Poseidon finds out what you've done, he won't let you get away with it. That is our way. The way of progress. You are not one of us. I've seen your compassion to those who dwell in this city. Perhaps our ways are not as perfect as Poseidon thinks they are. Parents do what they think is best, but it doesn't mean they're always right. We have to look after each other, no matter what we're told. Wise, Dicastis. I respect your decision for the moment. So what now? If you're going to one day rule the city, Cassandra, you're going to have to learn a very important lesson. That's what I get for helping you? A lecture? Just some words of advice. Nothing in Atlantis is what it seems at face value. This city is old, and those that call it home are even older. You have helped me, Nikastis. And for that, you have my thanks. This isn't over, Atlas. On the contrary, I'm done here. These devices are incredible. I almost feel like I can hear them speaking to me. Time of shadow. Now that I have the Isu device forge, we need to move quickly. You distract Atlas while I sneak into his private chambers. More sneaking. After Poseidon outlawed human experiments, Atlas confiscated a device and kept it. That device theoretically could add a third helix to my DNA. I've seen what these Isu devices can do. It's not pretty. The science is sound. And I've even found evidence of tests being done on humans that looked promising. In previous cycles, of course, before Poseidon outlawed experimentation. Last I checked, he seemed pretty power-hungry. I don't think he wants to share his throne. Behind every great man is a great woman. I can make Atlas see that, the Castis. I'm not sure a good the Castis goes behind the back of an Atlantean Archon. I've been preparing for this my entire life. Don't worry. Just keep Atlas talking while I'm in his chambers. <laughs> I don't think we have anything in common. What are we supposed to talk about? The weather? Atlas is a jealous lover, and he's already threatened by your role as the Castis. Why not play to that advantage? Whatever you do, don't mention my plans. Great. This will do wonders for our relationship. Everyone knows it's lonely at the top, Vicastis. Let's go. I've studied this science extensively. Once I impart Isu DNA into my body, I should be able to use the device without side effects. It's the should that worries me. Remember, whatever you do, don't reveal my political plans to Atlas.
could trick Atlas into thinking you and I are closer than we are. Are we not close? What's there to trick? You know what I mean. Yes. Making Atlas envious would certainly be a good distraction. El Peace! What are you doing here? With her, no less. The Vicastis and I were just taking a stroll, and I remembered I left a book on Atlantean cyclical history here. She'd like to borrow it. Do you mind if I fetch it? I... no. Do you need me to help you look for it? No, no. You two stay here. I'm sure you have much to discuss. Elpis wouldn't have anything to do with why you were sneaking around the adamant metalon, would she? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure by now Elpis has told you about the nature of our relationship. She's hardly as discreet as I'd like her to be. What business do you have with her? What? Is Elpis not allowed to have friends? Of course she can have friends. But I suspect there's more going on here. You have nothing to worry about, Atlas. I have no schemes against you. Maybe you don't play games, but Elpis lives for them. I can tell when she's up to something. Don't talk about Elpis that way. She's not manipulative. She's passionate. So you do care for her, then? You don't talk about Elpis like you love her. And you're not speaking of her as if you're merely her casual acquaintance. The truth is, Elpis and I are in love. What? <coughs> what? What have you done? I'm not weak anymore, Atlas. I can rule Atlantis at your side. This is your doing. You're trying to revolt against the issue with hybrids. No! What did you do? I didn't mean to. He was going to kill you. Ah, it seems my brother finally got his due. Is this your judgment, Thigastis? I killed Atlas. It wasn't my intention. I... You hoped to rule by his side to ease the conflict between humans and Isu. He wasn't as supportive of my dreams as I would have hoped. I support you. You can assume his role as you see fit. I will handle Poseidon and my brothers. Thank you, Azais. You can't be more corrupt than Atlas. And Atlantis can't fear progress if it hopes to pass this cycle. Atlantean politics are even more dramatic than in the Greek world. What will you do now? I'm not the first Atlantean ruler to take power by force. If the Isu can do it, why not me? Still. I didn't want to start my reign this way. Bring the good you've always dreamed of to your reign. I will, the Castis. Thank you for your help. Κλείσατε ω μέλλοντε στρατιώτε ενεργείτε. Ούκο σκύδε δούλη. Μέμνησο τη μισθοφορά. Μέμνησο των λαφύρων. Πιθανότατο να εστί την θητεία τερματίζει ω δουλοκτήτε. Οι θητενεί, οι θητενεί. Ουδέν ράκο κατά σε σιρκό του πόδα παραταχθεί εδώ. Μη δοκείτε ότι ου προ. Oh. Looks 
so peaceful from up here. It always does. But it never is. I know, Icarus. I'm tired too. I've met so many people. Harkons, kings, and now we so... They're all the same. Go do this. Bring me that. Go kill him. I don't know if I can do this anymore. If I were ruler, things would be much, much different. What's that, Icarus? A speech from your new ruler? <clears throat> you! Bring the food! You bring the wine! For tonight, we feast until our bellies are as round as the moon. That sounded good. I don't have wine, but if I brought you some bread, would you help me? You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. I'm sorry, I didn't want to interrupt the Digastis' speech. Eh, it was more of a fantasy, really. Call me Cassandra. I thought it was wonderful, Digastis Cassandra. <laughs> Just Cassandra is fine. And what's your name? Alcon. You're even more special than all the bedtime stories my... Parents used to tell me. What's wrong? My parents are missing. They left for their assignments, but they never came home. The Isu won't help me. But then I remembered the story of you helping a lost girl in the underworld, who found her parents in Elysium. So I came to you. Her name was Phoebe. We were good friends. She's in a better place now than when I found her. She was lucky to have a friend like you. I could always make a new friend. Maybe you, Alcon. And I could help you. Would you like that? More than anything! You said your parents never came home. If you could tell me where they're assigned and what their names are, it would be very helpful. Mata's name is Rene. She's assigned to the harbor. Pater is called Damadis, and he's assigned to the Adamant Quarry. You're very brave. Now, go home where it's safe. I'll go talk to the harbor master and whoever is in charge of the quarry. I'll come find you once I have some answers. Castis, have you come to analyze the recently discovered coral permutations fastened to the hulls of our vessels? Uh, no. I'm looking for a woman named Rini. Uh, yes, well, that is a subject I have absolutely zero authority in, I'm afraid. I cannot help you. Her son is very worried. What are you doing? I like humans, and I liked Rini. Poor Alcon. But if they hear me talking to you, they'll kill me. Tell me where she is, or I'll cut you. Uh, I told you, I, I don't know anything. You'll find my contact not far from here, but be careful. A trap has been set for you. You? have made the Dicastis very angry! Thank you. Please don't tell Poseidon! You have compassion, Dicastis. You may be the only one who can calm the brewing storm between humans and Isu. Ah. Harbor Master was right. They're waiting for me. Well, I'd hate to disappoint them. Stop! Now! Hey! Oh, 
Cesarius of the Pagani. I'm going to find him. There's a lot of guards for a quarry. I wonder why. Isn't this an honor? How'd you get past my guards? I'm looking for the Madis. And why would the great Vikastis be looking for missing humans? I never said he was missing. Very clever. Hybrid. When my humans transport adamant to the experimentation chamber, they don't always return. Occasionally they fall through the cracks, like rats. A little boy is worried about his father. Just tell me where this experimentation chamber is. Your compassion for humans is unproductive. Your hatred for humans is self-destructive. <sighs> Fine. It's in the garden of Kimopolia. But you're wasting your time. The doors are locked. Then I'll just have to find the key. You can try. Hybrid. You know, treating humans like vermin will get you killed one day. That day is today. Digastis Cassandra, did you find matter and pattern? Not yet. But I know they were taken to some sort of experimentation chamber by an issue named Zarius. Zarius? But he was always so kind to us. He gave us food and defended us when the others called us rats. Do you know where I could find him? The doors to the chamber are locked and he's my last hope of getting in. He's usually at the fortified Doma of Miniseas, but he's always protected by guards. That never stops me. Your last human.
gave me. Maybe it can help me get into the experimentation chamber. like the perfect place to hide missing humans. Locked. But I think I know what opens this. The more complicated the key, the bigger the secret. doesn't want any visitors.
I've been waiting for you, Cassandra. Welcome to the birthplace of legends. Who said that? Show yourself! My name is Aita. I am a scientist, and in many ways, these are my children. You created the Minotaur, the Cyclops, the Writhing Dread. They're monsters. Are we not all monsters? Imperfect beings striving towards our ultimate potential. Is that not why you're here? I'm here because a little boy's parents are missing, and all signs point to you. How very human of you. I'm getting everyone out of here. Didn't anyone teach you it's cruel to lie? What? What's cruel is abducting and experimenting on these people. Without sacrifice, there can be no progress. Without experimentation, there can be no perfection. You're breaking Poseidon's law. I am advancing knowledge for the betterment of Atlantis. Poseidon's lack of vision keeps us in darkness. But we are close. So very close. Atlantis is on the brink of war because of Isu, who think like you. Which is why we are properly arming ourselves. Let these people go. It's too late for them. Project Olympos has already begun. One human escaped before the transformation was complete, and lives were lost. This won't happen again. Surely you understand. Gira? She took her own life after what you did to her. So, you've seen the beast she becomes. I'm getting these people out of here. But, don't you want to know what's behind this door? All right, I'll play. Tell me. Why tell you when I can show you? Just know to enter the chamber is to forfeit their lives. You cannot have both. What if I just killed you, set these people free, and broke through your stupid door? God kill me, Cassandra. I can see you're struggling. What if I told you the greatest achievement in Atlantis is behind that door? And that we owe that achievement to you. What are you talking about? Through there is a path to immortality. For you. For us. Embrace your legacy. Forget these miserable humans. Abandon morality, and the answers to all your questions are just beyond that door. Please! Save us or we'll die! You will be reborn! Don't you want to know why you're really here? Free the people and this door will remain closed to you forever. Pass through, however, and it will lock behind you. These rats will be mine. What will it be, the Gastis? Their lives? Or your destiny? 
I'm sorry. No! Please! Don't leave! Not if I cut down every last one of these things. <laughs> Don't waste your energy. We can always create more. These experiments have gone too far. Poseidon's going to hear about this. Castis has returned. I can only presume you've delivered judgment to Atlantis. You said you outlawed experimentation on humans. All of it was lies. The issue are out of control. What are you talking about? My laws are absolute, and by them all must abide. I have declared it. Your laws have done nothing. People are suffering under your rule, and you don't even realize it. No one would have the audacity to disobey me. Surely this is a mistake. You should listen to her, you know. Shildo. Impossible! You're forbidden from entering the city. Guards! Your guards respect your sons. And when you appointed that hybrid as your dicastis, your sons turned to us. Even my sons know better than to bow to a warmonger! The humans are bringing war whether we want it or not, Poseidon. They should after what you've done. You mean what they've forced us to do. Poseidon worries about the sun and his solar floral regeneration project. Catastrophe is coming for us. On that we agree. But there is only one catastrophe. Humanity. You can't trust Eta. He's a lunatic. You have no idea of the monsters. He's trapped in his hidden lair. It was hidden only to Poseidon. My wife knew everything about it. Hybrid. Project Olympus was my idea. The end of a cycle in Atlantis doesn't have to be a catastrophe. It's far worse. We've detected changes in the surface of the sun. If we don't prepare... If we don't prepare, humans will kill us all. The only ecological catastrophe we face is the one we created ourselves. When I got here, Poseidon said I was where I belonged. Someone tell me why I'm really here, now! Such sadness. She's even more human than I expected. Eta. Answer her. Gladly. In you, we found opportunity. Imagine the possibilities if we duplicated your hybrid form. We could employ our technology to control your mind. 
You hybrid can be used to craft Juno's ultimate weapon. Or rather, you could have been. My husband's experiment was promising, but after observation, we've decided you are a failure. Our new weapon is far deadlier than you could ever be. The Ekatohires. Aida, you didn't. I did. The Ekatohires will rise. Project Olympus will strike fear so deeply into the hearts of humanity, they would never consider revolt. And you will declare my husband the Dikastis Vasilevs. Dikastis, stop this. If they are successful, we are doomed. All of us. You have to trust me. You, deal with these two. I'll find a way to stop their plans. It's too late. The procedure was already a success. The Ekatochires lives. Can't you hear him stir? You did this in my laboratory under the palace. Entrance was barred when I outlawed human experimentation. What is that sound? Is that your weapon? I will bring justice to these two. But I need you to stop the Ekatochires before it kills us all. Go! I can't get too close.
remarkable. You really are the greatest of the humans and of my people. Where is Juno and Eta? Imprisoned, for now. But they will not stop. If imprisonment won't stop them, then leave them alone in a room with me. I'll make sure they never hurt anyone again. And what would that prove? That you are as cruel as Juno and her husband? I don't intend to prove anything. I intend to stop this and save those that suffered because of your hubris. So in the end, you brought judgment to Atlantis after all. Very well, Gastis. Do you still have Cerberus's device? I didn't tell you everything about your stuff. It is a bridge between your two selves. But by coupling it with the powers of the devices you retrieved from the Cerberus and the Gatojires, we can end Atlantis' cycle forever. I wasn't just awakening my sixth sense. I was unlocking the power to destroy the entire city. In the wrong hands, the staff has the power to destroy everything. That is why you, and only you, could be its keeper. You said it yourself. Juno and Aida will never stop. I've seen those laboratories, the experiments in them. There's only one way to end the suffering here. Destroy this place. One wish is that I had more time to learn from you. In time, I may have learned to be more human. Yere, Poseidon. Keeper of the Staff, your trials are over. Back in the throne room. Tell me, now that you have seen the fate of Atlantis, how do you feel? You want to know how I'm feeling? I'm tired, Alicia. Your burden is great, Keeper. The Staff will replenish your physical body. But with time, you must learn that your strength comes from within. So what was all this? What you have experienced are echoes of memories. Distorted, but no less real. Whose memories? The issue. Some were even my own. In my time as Dicastis, I also tried to bring balance to Atlantis, but it wasn't enough. You? And now you.
My trials forced me to reunite with my grandfather, Phoebe, Brasidas, even Elpinor. And in so doing, you passed a valuable trial. The staff has the power to prolong life. That is not your role. You must learn to say goodbye again and again, but let death take what it will from this world. Were they... real? They are with you always, so yes. In time you must let them go, but that will be another trial. My trials in Elysium brought destruction and rebellion. Not due to you, but Persephone. She was a ruler who controlled her domain through extreme order. In so doing, you saw that her rule was doomed to failure. In the underworld, I was forced to endure a realm of pure chaos. Indeed. Hades was a king who invited that chaos, and devastation came with it. But know this. You will be forced to endure far worse suffering before your death has come. Elysium and the Underworld were doomed. But in Atlantis, I almost thought Poseidon and I could do some good. Yet there you discovered the issue as we really were. Flawed. No matter how many times I have seen that echo of memory, my home always meets destruction. I'm ready to leave. You coming? We are entwined after all. You saw Persephone rule through order, Hades through chaos, and even had a taste of being a ruler yourself in Atlantis. It was a disaster. You have seen there is no path to power for the Keeper. In the Staff, you have the ability to bring this world to its knees, but that is not your role. You must use your strength to restrain the power of the Staff, to guard it, to keep. My mother once told me I was sent by the gods to protect this world. I gave her my word. And now, I give my word to you. And what of your word, heir of memories? You must wake up and redeem yourself before it's too late, or it will be you who tears this world apart. Now wait! The interloper has found you! Wake! Now! No! Where are you? Talking to yourself, Layla Hassan? Clearly the Isu artifact has had quite the effect on you. You're going mad. Mr. Berg, you finally showed up. Most impressive. I knew if anyone could discover this place, it was you. But you left Abstergo before you could be assigned this mission. Sigma-6 found it just fine after you tapped into our comm signal. We know it was you. Correct. What you don't know is that I've been listening in for much longer. Ever since you found the Book of Herodotus, from Templar research I'm sure you stole. Abstergo are murderers. And you're nothing but their killing machine. A righteous claim. And what of the Sigma team I dispatched earlier to find you? You killed them. Look, I saw your files in the Abstergo database. I know about Alina. If you knew what the staff could do for her... Don't say a word about her. Then forget it. I was trying to compromise. No compromising. The artifact is coming with me. You had no right to do what you did to Deanna. You should have come after me. You're always next on the list. I'll check you off today. You're a real Yahomar, so This is over. Indeed. The world outside is coming to its inevitable end. Whose side you're on won't matter anymore. Come. Hand over the staff. It does matter. I'll always be an assassin. And if you want the staff, 
You're gonna have to take it from me. First Victoria, now. Admit it, you can't handle the power of the artifact. Wanna know my favorite thing about the staff? Don't clutch. It's the... Immortality. <laughs> Petty to the end. The thing is, Mr. Berg, I don't care if you live or die. You just gotta get out of my way. <clears throat> Face it. Templar's lost. <laughs> Come in! Oh. Atlantis oh. has been compromised. My legs. Alethea? Alethea! Okay, think, Layla. Your comms are broken. How do you get help? Vic, I can't do this without you. I try to hide it, but I I'm scared. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm alone. I need you. Please, come back. Send me a sign, at least. Anything. Your earpiece. Can anyone hear me? Victoria, uh, we've been trying to find a way to force communication. First, we've lost everyone's vitals, and Elena. then... It's me. Layla? Uh, how? This is Victoria's channel. Where is she? What's been happening down there? Did you finish the trials? Yes, we have the staff. I finished our trials, but... That's incredible! An actual Isu artifact in assassin control. This changes everything. I'm not in control, Elena, and nothing's changed. Also, Berg is the interloper. He's in the throne room with me. Look, I'll explain everything, but the Templars know what we're doing, and they're after us. I need you to get me out of here. With you? Uh, are you safe? We fought. He passed out, but he's stable. Please don't make me check on him. You didn't... kill him? No. He's still alive. Sit tight, Layla. We're coming for you, but it might take time. What are you gonna do? Until you get here, I'm going back into the Animus. There are a lot of people to say goodbye to. <laughs> <laughs> 